Hip, hip, hop, 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 hip, hop, hop. Hi, folks. Welcome to the stream. Uh, glad you could make it here. Uh, I've been binge watching uh, Jim Browning and Kit Boga's videos about scammers. So if you see me prank calling any scammers in the future, just a a a, a warning right out the gate. <laughs> They're the most amazing things on YouTube. You really gotta go watch them sometime. Uh, that was uh, some Final Fantasy IX eat music. Some 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 chow music. Some yum yum music. Uh, because today is our our fantastic Epicurious culinary stream, starring Cooking with Jack, amongst others. Uh, this is not solely a Cooking with Jack stream. Uh, but, but Jack will definitely be here. Uh, we, we've taken a look at Jack in the past, and, uh, if you missed that stream, then I think we watched the Party Cheese Salad video, which we're probably gonna watch again, because you can't have a video dedicated to, at least in part, to Jack, and not have the Party Cheese Salad video. That, that would just be a travesty. Um... Yeah, uh, I, I, I want to ask you guys, actually, and I'm going to make a poll for this, uh, when, when the time comes. Actually, I already made the poll, but I'll, I'll spam the chat with the link when the time comes. We've already done a video about K, uh, K's cooking, and I recently streamed, uh, sort of a viewer request stream, and we watched some K videos there. And, uh, I, I don't know if we want Kay to take a, a starring role in this, this stream. Uh, I don't know. She, she might, we might want to leave her in the back seat. We don't want to pick on her too much. You know, sometimes we need to leave people in the seat. It's like a football team, you know? You gotta go out there and score the hole-in-ones, you, you know? And that's pretty important. So, I, I don't know. I'm gonna leave that, that, I'm gonna leave that up to you guys. We got a poll. I, that, that, the time is not now. Uh, that, th that time is not now. Now it is time to indulge in, uh, the, the, one of the worst chefs on YouTube. And I'm, I, I, I listen, this is, uh, I, I actually have some place to talk about this. I, I very much enjoy cooking. I just made some, like, some, like, buffalo chicken thighs last night. They were great. Had some, like, sautéed sautéed baby carrots with a little bit of butter and, and some lemon juice for zest. Oh god, it was amazing. Oh god. Um, yeah, I, I, I enjoy cooking. My favorite thing to cook is definitely like spaghetti. I also really like tuna melts. But every time I, so, I show somebody the tuna that I make, people are like, disgusted. I don't know, tuna's not a very, <laughs> not a very visually appealing dish, but it, uh, it, you know, the stomach knows not ugly. In the wise words, of the dad, the old man on Everybody Loves Raymond. The stomach knows not ugly. So, 
But unfortunately, the stomach does know uh, party cheese salad, so we're, we're just going to get into it. Um, just get, uh, get YouTube set up here. Cooking with Jack gives it some spice if you add a little extra inflection to the, to the with. Um, here we are. Let's close that. And bring up this thick boy right here. Oh yeah, there it is. That's the good stuff. Let's see, what do we got? Strawberry brownies. You know, some of the stuff that Jack makes is not <laughs> not the worst thing ever. Speaking of Jack, I do have an emergency bottle of Jack with me, as, as has been the, the case the last few days. This time it's Tennessee Honey. I, I don't know. Uh, I, well, I think Tennessee is just the name of the... <laughs> but it's Honey Jack, so... Uh, never tried that. It might be interesting. I don't like honey, but you know what? If there's any way to convince me, it, it might be alcohol. Uh, so... We got a cooking with Jack compilation, but we don't need any compilations. You know, that's 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 like cheating. We gotta we gotta dig for that that juicy Jack meat ourselves. <laughs> we gotta really get in there. You know, we gotta like use use our, our full like wrists, get right in, up in there and get that Jack meat, that juicy succulent. Okay, so let's check out Salad Night. <laughs> This was from 10 years ago, so somebody in the chat's gonna be very mad at me that BUT YOU'RE NOT REPRESENTING HIS CURRENT VIDEOS! Uh, which I'm sure, you know, I... <laughs> I'm sure we can take a look at some of his current videos later. I'm sure they're just as, just as good, but, uh... But this is sort of a classic. It's 10 years old. It's exactly 10 minutes. I ended my stream yesterday at what I thought was exactly two hours. Turned out to be like two hours and four seconds, but still... I can admire that that perfect perfect symmetry. Per perfect symmetry. Okay, let's let's watch. Actually, before before we watch. Oh my god, there's an ad. Don't give me an ad. I'm not I am not supporting this ad. I do not support this, no thanks. Another ad! No, don't buy Western Family ice cream. They charge up they charge up the ass! Alright, now before we start the video. <laughs> Oh, now it's 9.59. Well, fuck this. Uh, before we start the video, I'm just gonna check the chat here. See what's going on. Uh, what do we got? Final Fantasy IX. Good to know Dorkwing loves Ashens. I do enjoy me some Ashens. Ashens is one of the only channel- I think I mentioned this the other day. He's the only channel that has been around as long as he has that's not, like, a sex criminal. <laughs> or a fucking... Just awful, like, Doug Walker. <laughs> or... Or just, like, retired in general. Um, <laughs> or some combination of all three. <laughs> um, da Daddy Dork, please no. Uh, the fuck that song from? That's uh, the, the Coos Marsh theme. Q... C Coos Marsh, I guess. Q-U. From uh, Final Fantasy IX. It's eat music. It's, it's yummy frog music. Uh... Can't wait to watch this guy fumble through a live stream. Yeah, yeah, you know it. I mean, this time it's pretty much just YouTube, so... I don't think even I can fuck this one up, but... <laughs> but hey, there's always room for boomerang. Uh, this is scary. Most people drink... Um, not the cheese salad. No, it's gonna happen. You can't stop this from happening. Uh, why not so watch some of Masoki's old cooking videos? Cooking with Hoarders videos? ALR's cooking is on the list. Yes, uh, don't worry. I just thought of that, actually, like, ten minutes ago. I was like, wait a minute, doesn't she cook? Isn't she also a, a chef, an auteur, uh, a, a renaissance woman, if you will? <laughs> so, uh, if we if we have time, we'll, we'll get to that. Um, fancy stuff there. Tuna melts are delicious, I agree. Living Life with Aaron, $5, says that gif of Pac-Man walking looks like my uncle when he's walking to my room at night. P.S. Please do prank calls, it would be so fun. I've never prank called a single human being in my entire life. Not not a one time. <laughs> not even, okay, no, as a, as a little tiny, like, baby. I was like four or five or something, and I was like a devious little fuck, and I... <laughs> I stayed up all night to watch, like, Gundam, because it was mysterious late-night foreign cartoons. 
<laughs> it was on at 3 a.m. and I was like wired and I was like I could do anything. So I just went to my phone and I didn't really know what I was doing, but I just found like numbers in the phone book and I just called them. <laughs> and I was just like, sorry, wrong number. Sorry, wrong number. And, and just hung up. I'm pretty sure I ra I ran up our phone bill pretty high. So you know, it might be it might be like a a, a riding a bike situation. Maybe I'll, I'll get right back on it. But uh, I also don't know much about like virtual machines and stuff. But uh, yeah, uh, maybe I'll figure it out. <laughs> Two pounds from Super Noodles. Review his col his Aunt Myrna's party cheese salad. Well, I th I think no, this isn't this. This isn't that party cheese salad. Uh, there's a, this is different salads. This is, I believe, a multitude of salads. I think Medicare watched that. No, I recorded a video that went about like five minutes or so, and I ended up d discarding it, and it was some jack. But uh, and I think I started watching this, and then I was like, I just wasn't in the mood for it, so I just stopped. Um, so I, I have seen some of this video in the past. And I have seen Party Cheese Salad. Medicar did that one. I think a few other people covered that one, too. Um, well, this this uh, Dean Smith guy is, like, officially my hater. It's great. He goes and watches all my old stuff, my old streams, and he just, like, leaves weird comments, and it's, it's good. I, I think he likes Onision. Um, so, uh, you know, there's, we're, there's just that. I'm just putting that out there. <laughs> But I'm very flattered to now have a to now have a hater, so that's that's good. Back off, haters. Uh, so, anyways, party salad, or no, not party salad, regular salad, multiple salads, and a lot of mayonnaise. Here we go. Oh, very classic. Very ten years ago, I love it brings me back to the years when I didn't watch YouTube because they were all annoying fucks. Ah, that's right. Alcohol. Another video geeked on coffee. It's unbelievable. Look, it's my Disneyland cup, too. Good old goop. Oh, hey. I wonder if he knows Joey. I, does he... I, <laughs> it would be such a perfect combo, you know? I get them mixed up, honestly. By the way, did... I think Joey really liked... Didn't he wear the, Dis the the fucking Mickey hat in the Nutella video? Yeah, get get him and the and the mug. Everything will be great. That sponsor check from Disney ever arrive? No? They haven't sent their check yet? Oh. Did the check clear? That. Do we like it? There we go. It's just a coffee cup. That's all it is. Mm-hmm. Regular old okay, coffee cup. Okay, so let's go to fan mail first or emails i don't fan really like mails. to call it fan mail because i don't feel like i have fans i just have viewers i got this that i could agree with i remember that that was like the one thing i was like yeah i, I agree with this guy i don't I'm, saying fans is like <laughs> it makes me sound like i like i'm one of those rock stars who's yeah you know the fans it's like no that's fucking no thank you no, you're you're my uh, you're my you're my fellow uh, denizens of weird things. You're my fellow purveyors of trash. Uh, From uh, uh, Stavros. <laughs> so I could agree with him there. Uh, and it says it's simple that here in Germany we do not have a uh, what is some of the products that I'm showing on my show. For example, there is no marshmallow paste. You guys remember the fruit dip with the oh, marshmallow no. mix? Oh no! All uh, the humanity. They don't have that in Germany. We also do not have garlic chopped in bottled water and just let you know uh this they're talking he's talking about this uh also what else does it say here oh yeah another funny thing is we don't have uh, our portion sizes are different all right so well this is fan mail it's fine it's whatever <laughs> it's not what we're here for ladies and gentlemen it's it's fine there's things that we don't have that other countries do have and and that's a little weird i was in the i was in the international food section at walmart today and they had curly whirlies which are uh, the most British candy I've ever heard of. They're very good, but they're very British. It's very... It's, uh, that's what you eat before you play a Rudy Tootie point and shooty. Anyways. Just right now. So we're going to teach you a dinner that you can prepare the night before. Break it out. Serve it. It's cold. Everybody loves it. It's delicious. And leftovers are amazing. There's plenty of leftovers. It's called Salad Night. And we're going to get started on that right now. We're going to show you on the show today three different salads. One is called a tomato salad. Y'all ain't ready. One is your macaroni salad. And one is a bean salad. So let's start with bean salad first. Okay, so here's the tip. 
If you notice here on the can, y'all really ain't ready to just. I have. Y'all yeah, can't it, handle this. It's sinking in a little bit. See the can't see the lid. There you go. This is what I'm going to use to drain all this juice that's in here. You don't want the juice. Once again, do not keep oh, the juice. Oh, we need that, that juicy jack meat. Come on. It. So I've gotten rid of the lid now. I drained all the juice, and then you can see right here. Look at that. There's that bad boy. You know what that is? I'm going to tell you what that is. That's a tumor. That is the fat from pork and beans. I'm sorry, excuse me. That's what they're calling pork. It's a little square of fat and that's it. In this whole can, this is somehow gonna add flavor. I have no idea, but here we go. Ready? Launch. Gone. All right, now, time to move on. What? Take the beans, dump them in the bowl. Okay, now I'm cutting a... Is that really what they do? They just have like a fucking tiny little wedge of pork? It's disgusting. I haven't eaten beans in a long time, but but I am always thinking about those beans. Large onion. And after this video, you will never stop thinking about those beans. I'm not going to use, but maybe... He got his honey on. I'm going to say one-fourth of it, so let's get rid of the rest. You're going to love my honey -uns. You know that guy, like, bit a hooker or something? I think she started it, though. That's, that's crazy. There you go. Wild stuff. That's pretty good. Nice. Okay, I lied. That's all I need. So, correction, it's one-eighth. We're going to do one-eighth of the onion. So just take take those onions, put them right in there, in the mix. Okay. I do heaping Nothing tablespoons. Nothing too bad yet. What the fuck is this? <laughs> yep. You're going to do... You're there gonna start you go. With two. two heaping tablespoons. Oh, that's good. And you're going to mix that's it what in. You you're need. take a look at it and mm -hmm. see. So take, take a, a look, look at, at it. it. That's your bean salad. Isn't that appetizing? Doesn't that look like... That looks like Taco Bell shits. I'm gonna I'm gonna level with you. It kind of looks like refried beans that have been like... Yeah, just passed through the, the small intestine a few times. That's Very great. Thick consistency. It will even... Or is it the large intestine? I don't know. Whatever. Thick and more in the refrigerator. It's all the same. So, we've got it all mixed. The only thing we need is a little bit of tang to this. You've got the chopped onions. You got the beans, mayonnaise, and then you're gonna put oh, in yeah. two capfuls. We need vinegar. Of white vinegar. That's perfect. Don't worry if you spill over a little bit. Two capfuls. One. That is perfect. Two. That's gonna put a little tang in there. Okay, and you're gonna mix that, mix it. You know, I'm having a pizza later. And then when you're done. I mean, it's Domino's, but still. So I have something to look forward to, but you know, I hope you guys are prepared. I just hope you were prepared for the stream, because this is. Probably gonna get a lot worse. We haven't seen the party cheese video yet. It's gonna get a lot worse. You're just gonna pop that right, like that, that lid right on there. And you're gonna throw that in the refrigerator and we'll break that just out later on. But it's gonna solidify and it's gonna be great. This is something you can make the night before and just pull it out the day of. So that's bean salad. That's salad number one. Salad number two, we're moving on is tomato salad, even easier oh than salad number one. Oh boy. All right, it's gonna be tomatoes, olive oil, oregano, salt and pepper, and water. Okay. It's so refreshing, it's so delicious. The only thing- All right, this one is probably not gonna be that bad. It doesn't really sound like you could fuck that. Oh wait, he's calling his mom, I forgot. Hang on. <laughs> oh God. Oregano, salt and pepper, and water. How could we, how water. could I forget? It's so refreshing, it's so delicious. The only thing is, I can't remember, I have to check with my mom because I can't even remember how much oil I'm supposed to use. So let's let's give her a call. Shh. Don't talk. Hello. Hi, Mom. Hello, this is Tom from California. I, uh, I am with uh, Microsoft uh, Security Services. Hi, what's up? Uh, quick question. Okay. How much oil and how much water do I use in the tomato salad? Right. What about the vodka? No, and people in Germany are complaining. We got to have measurements. I know, I know. Okay. You know what happened the last time those Germans got rowdy? Okay. Is it? Is it a 50-50? Uh, no, it's more water than oil. 60 or 70-30? I don't know. Let me tell you what to do. Okay, okay. Okay. Get everything together. You it's his mom, you know. <laughs> what a fucking asshole. Put it all in a bowl. Right. And, and, and then add some oil and add some water. Pay attention to what you're doing. Add like a quarter of a cup of oil, a half a cup of water. 
see what happens. What? A quarter cup of oil, half a cup of water. Uh, okay. Uh huh. Right, that sounds good. All right. Yeah, you know, and see what it looks like. Okay. All right. Now. And then if it doesn't look like it's enough oil, uh, add another quarter of a cup of oil. Got it. See? Got. I got it. Okay. Now, do you mind if I put this part of us talking on the video? Yeah, I don't want to be on the video. Uh, are you sure? Yeah. All right, I won't put it in the video. Exposed. Exposed. Cooking with Jack Scalfani. Exposed. He is a naughty boy who disobeyed his mom and put her on the YouTubes with all those those cat videos. And the predators. They. I heard about that on the news. Okay. Love you. Love you too. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I love doing that to her. First thing we're going to do is cut the tomatoes. This is the quarter cup of oil. Okay. You're going to pour that in all over the tomatoes. And then just fill it up again completely to the top. And that is your cup of water. Take your seasoning. Yeah, as I said, this is probably fine. But I'm curious to see about this. Go okay. Okay. I'm curious to see about the macaroni salad because I, I hate macaroni salad. <laughs> I guess it's okay if it's got some cheese, but it's like, I, no, no thank you. I'll, I'll do potato salad, but macaroni salad is a bit of a stretch. I don't like it in its best. I'm not going to... I, <laughs> I hesitate to see it in its worst. By the salad macaroni. And the salad macaroni... We got the mayo right there, so we've got a... <laughs> You've got an idea of where this is headed. It's like little tiny barrels. They kind of, here, let me show you what it looks like. This is what it looks like. Okay? If you can't get this, go with the elbow macaroni. Now, the macaroni is in the water. It's boiling. It's cooking. We're going to cook that up. I'm only using one pound. A one pound package of macaroni. And for a one pound pa uh, <laughs> try that again. For a one pound package of macaroni, you're only going to need about a fourth of this tomato. Only one pound. That's like one seven hundred and forty sevenths of me. That's amazing. Here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna have to take your time. I want small pieces, okay? Macaroni is cooked. I just got done straining the water. You're gonna add the tomatoes right in there. Always start with two heaping tablespoons of mayonnaise. Heaping as in that. That's heaping, okay? Oh god. Oh my there we go. god. And then we This is probably even like how you make this. Like I don't <laughs> I don't know. This is probably how you do it, but it's still I no, no thank you. It's you disgusting. It. You mix it in and see if it's enough. The so last time we watched Jack, he made a fucking mayonnaise cake. Also, did he just not even cook the pasta at all? There's some areas that still aren't coated very well. So did he mention cooking it? Did he just skip that? I'm I'm confused. Go one more. One more heaping tablespoon. Looks like three is going to be the magic number. Three heaping tablespoons to the one pound of macaroni. For every spoonful of mayonnaise, you do a cap full of vinegar. Top it off with salt. Pepper. Comes out a little slower, so you got to do it a little bit longer. Just the and then chat. take a moment to mix it in one more time. Too much mayo. So we're just going to... Hope he cooked it. Pop it on that one too. Put it with the other two salads. Let it chill it's a little bit. pretty nice. And we'll take a look. It's time to taste these bad boys. That's what time it is. Oh, did my mouth just water? I think it did. All right. No, wait, that was just some vomit. Now I'm gonna try and do this professionally. I'm not gonna zoom in like on the pizza video, I promise. But I gotta taste three and we gotta close up out of here. So let's try this, here we go. Mmm. <clears throat> okay. So that's the bean. Macaroni salad, delicious. No, macaroni. All right, let's okay, try the it's marinated delicious. tomatoes. Now can we just go over that footage again? Hang on. Here we go. Mmm. Okay. I don't hear any crunching, but he might be too far from the microphone. I don't know. I, did he mention cooking the pasta? Somebody's gonna be like, "Ew, you say pasta? You don't say you don't say pasta? What's wrong with you? Fuck off!" Macaroni salad, delicious. All right, let's try the marinated tomatoes. See how those are. Mmm. Don't mind me, just trying to get this okay. bottle of Jack open. I can't just enough oil. <laughs> I'm on just video in. Tomatoes, not too much oil. The oregano sits right on your tongue. The tomato that one does good. sound pretty good. Like, I'm sure it's not as good as it could be if it wasn't made by him, but, mm. like, in concept at least, it sounds okay. You know what? The, on the chopped onions in there soften just enough. There's a little bit of a crunch. It's beautiful. 
There's three of about seven different salads you can make. These are my recipes. Enjoy. Keep your right. emails coming. Okay, so that was salad night. Now, that really wasn't that bad. That really wasn't that bad. A lot of mayo, but not that bad. Now, we already saw the mayonnaise cake, and to be honest, this thumbnail is a fucking trick. It makes you think that it's gonna be coated in mayonnaise, but it's fucking not. It's just... It's just a cake where... Well, I, apparently the idea... It's a real thing. And the idea of a mayonnaise cake apparently is to be like... Replace the eggs with mayonnaise, because mayo is like... Egg. Um, but he did egg and mayonnaise, so... I don't know. I, I, I know egg is like a binding agent. I don't know what mayo does, except fucking make you look like Jack. Uh, <laughs> but anyways, here is the party cheese salad. The infamous. I don't know if it's gonna get worse than this. I feel very lucky oh, that we have this in Kamloops. Well, I think it gets people oh, great. out I'm and getting fucking enjoying Kamloops. That's it awesome. really is to me like Let's the heart. The <laughs> Do you know what time it is? It's time for it. I'm not gonna be living here for long, fuckers. For the recipes. <laughs> It's a double header, that's right. Last week we did Aunt Myrna's recipe with the coleslaw. Amazing. Mm -hmm. This week we're doing part- Oh man, Col a anytime you pair up the words coleslaw and amazing, you know, you're in for a real treat. Uh, Party cheese salad. When I saw I, her make have this I mentioned in Alabama, that I, hate coleslaw. I was like, goosh. I'm not sure about some of these ingredients, but goosh. then I tasted it and it's like- Wait, wait, wait. Goosh. Goosh. Are you gooshing your grandma real good there? I'm not sure about some of these ingredients, or but or whatever. then I tasted it, and it's like a dessert. Uh, it's really cool. So, so we've seen this video before. If you've been watching my streams, we did cover this a lot, uh, like a month ago or something, a while ago. Uh, I, I haven't done this in a, in a video yet, but maybe someday. Uh, but yeah, this is the, the party cheese salad. So if this looks a little familiar to you, uh, we have seen it before. If my reactions are very similar. <laughs> We have seen it before, but again, you can't you can't not do. Let's get this thing started. We're gonna cheese. cook all this on the stove. Then we're gonna pour it in this glass dish, which I've never used in my whole life. I think my mom gave me this, but I'm gonna have a chance to use this, and then we're gonna chill it. So it's gonna be awesome. Let's get started right you know, now. No party cheese Wait and chill. All right, let's just uh, let's just get a good wholesome view here of these ingredients. We got lemon jello. We got, I believe this is celery, we've got green peppers, pecans, pecans, whatever, crushed pineapple, cream cheese, cool whip, regular cheese, so there's really only two cheeses, and then this is pimento. So, I just want you to imagine, build the flavor profiles, if you would, in your head, ladies and gentlemen. Just, just savor. Just savor that flavor. Just imagine all those textures. Not even the flavor, the textures. Crunch, crunch, fucking mush, melty, like cheese, dairy, whatever this is, fucking pimentos, oh my god. Uh, cream cheese, is like... Oh my god. Pecans, it's gonna be crunchy and nutty. There's gelatin. Okay, I, I just want you to be in for this. I just want you to know what's occurring. I never would have put these ingredients together had it not been for Aunt Myrna. Had it not been for fucking... Oh my god. What, 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 what is, what kind of... Does Aunt Myrna have a YouTube channel? <laughs> because... You got cream cheese, pimentos, Cool Whip, Say it nuts, right, you fuck. Any kind that you like. I'm using pecans. Lemon, or you can use lime jello. Celery, bell pepper, oh my pineapple, God. and American cheese. Can you eat? I, you know, I, I don't. I think it would be a little better with lemon jello. But, like, I think it would be. Oh, God. Can you imagine it with green? Can you imagine it with lime? Can you just, like, imagine that? I think that would be worse, I because at least this fits the color of the cheese. But then there's like these things, so I, I don't know. This is a fucking rainbow of a meal. I, Can I, you I believe don't know. this? This is crazy. 
Let's go to the stove right now and get this thing started. At least he admits Take it. Take your but, oh, crushed pineapples uh, and pour it in the pan. Okay. Pineapple on pizza is okay. Fuck you. It is a perfectly acceptable option. There are multiple options when it comes to pizza. Pineapple is but merely one of them. That's all I have to say. It's, it's right, probably your, not going to come up again. So get your Jello mix. You're going to do one large Jello, uh, lemon or lime, or you're going to do two small packets. I grabbed a large one. It's just like gel, jelly. There you go. And jelly mixed with fucking dairy and like, ugh, ugh. I'm not even sure. I'm not even sure what utensil to use for this. Just a so. second. Just gonna mix it up right now. Mm. Why not right have now. fucking? I'm afraid later on, if I use a wooden spoon, it's gonna stick to the wooden spoon. All right, so we're gonna get this all mixed up. Okay, once the Jello is dissolved, you're gonna add. I chopped up the cream cheese. You're gonna add all your cream cheese in there, and you're going to mix that until it totally mixes in. Only melts down. Cream cheese, jello, and, uh, wow. Okay, uh, let me just, I, you know what? We just, I have to uh, consult the chat real quick. We just have to see. <sighs> Keep in mind, this is Jack before the stroke. This, did he have a stroke? Oh, man, now I feel bad. <laughs> I feel slightly bad, just a little bit. Hey, look, it's mundane Matt. I think somebody edited down the Medicare thing as poorly cooking with mundane Matt, which was like clickbait. <laughs> but once you see the video, you can't, you can't like, you can't complain. Uh, this is crazy. Oh shit, that's right. Mm. I can't see lemon Jello without remembering the piss Jello incident. Okay, that's good. That's fine. That's enough chat. Oh wait, five dollars Canadian. Oh, I'm so sorry. You're also you also have the Canadian. I'm so, I, I, I'm so sorry. From Rand Wolf, go for the money shot, my dude. His chili and the chicken in a bag review. Keep the weirdness rolling. Thank you for the thank you for the suggestion. I think somebody mentioned chicken in a bag before. Is that the Salmonella Jack one? Cause oh boy. Cream cheese pretty much melted down. You can still see the chunks of pineapple in there. I think we're about ready to, to add the, the rest of the ingredients. We're going to add the chopped uh, celery. Oh, man. Celery. Bell peppers. Peppers. Pimento. <sighs> the nuts. Wow. We're going to mix that in. Just get, just yeah, get that in there. Just get it all mixed I in. I can't even begin to explain to you. Get it all. How amazing tasting this was. I would not eat pimentos, like, if you fucking. Pi what does that even taste like? They're like a little thing that comes in olives. Do they even? Don't they grow with the olive? Or are these just stolen from the olive? That's like, that seems wrong. I guess they cut out the pimentos usually with, but but still. But <laughs> you're separating the pimento from the... I don't know. I just... Even in... What would you even use pimentos in? Oh, my God. I guess this. This is, this is what it's for. It looks horrible, but I'm telling you, Aunt Myrna never has failed me yet. And I had this. So I hope mine turns out as good. I bet he's had Aunt Myrna, too. As good as hers. Have as good as hers. I'll be in business. Okay, I've turned the flame off. I'm just mixing it in now. So go ahead and turn your flame off. There we go. Get it all mixed in. All right, here's a crucial ingredient. Oh, yeah. Your whipped cream. Oh, yeah. Just don't even bother with the spoon, Jack. Don't even bother. Just go right... Get right in with that whipped cream. With that cool whip. Let's get that out there. Get that going. Oh, yeah. Straight in there. That's good. That's the good stuff. That is the good stuff. So, you got gelatin. You got crunchy vegetables. You got pecans. You got fucking 
a bunch of cheese. You got cool whip. I'm sorry I keep saying it like that. It's just, it, it, it kind of just happens by mistake now. Uh, yeah, I, I can't stress enough. Just think about it. Just think about it. Have a big think about how that must be. I, I guess he keeps saying, like, you wouldn't believe how good it is if uh, until you try it. So maybe we're all the idiots. Maybe we're the fools. I know I am. I'm a pretty big idiot. And, uh, fucking, you know, like, he, mix that in <laughs> he keeps saying it's crazy. You won't believe it. I mean, I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Like, when you put that much garbage together, maybe something happens. Who knows? Has anybody ever tried this? Like, has anybody ever followed this recipe? I kind of want to now. I want to, like, make a party cheese salad. <laughs> Just see what the fuck it is. Uh, I'll probably have to make, like, heavy substitutions and just be like, yeah, they didn't have Cool Whip, so I bought fucking ranch dressing. And honestly, it would probably wind up the same. Don't want to spill over. No, you wouldn't want to make a mess. And I don't recommend using, uh, it's the uh, Cool Whip. I don't recommend using imitation or fat-free or sugar-free. Get a load of this fucking shill. reaction. This, you want the regular, real... This guy's been cool paid whip, for. Real whipped cream. By NASA. I don't yeah, even know why they're involved, but they are. Use real whipped cream. Creamiest you can find. Thickest you can find. Now I'm going to move yeah, this off to the side. You don't want I mean, honestly, when you're making something like this, would you... Are you really going to... Can you imagine the person who would make this and then go, You know, I think I'll have the low-fat jello, actually. I think I want to watch my waistline. We're going to do the light cheese. I need my glass dish here. Then you're going to pour it in the, in the dish carefully. Wow. Oh. I mean, it looks like a party. It definitely looks like what you get after a party. This would be great around Christmas time if you want to torture your family. It's got the red, it's got the green. Mix it around. Beautiful. So the pineapple is all throughout the... Uh, Make sure all your ingredients are all throughout the dish, okay? I think I said this Let's last time. Through. You can smell. Oh god. Wow, the lemon. Watch out, the fucking Jack's robot circuits are overheating. I think I said this last time, but when I'm trying to visualize this and I'm trying to imagine how it tastes, right? I can't. It's like there's so many things that are in this that are conflicting that I can't consciously remember all of them at once. I'm like, this is a disgusting mess with cheese and crunchy vegetables and like two other things and then I forget shit and then I'm like oh yeah I forgot he added an entire thing of Cool Whip brain dead me somehow I forgot that oh wow I forgot there's a literally a whole jar of pimentos in this there's they're just in there they're right you just can't it's like your brain can't hold all of these things at once it's like a stack overflow and the oh my god just busting out and crazy enough, the last step, you're going to sprinkle on some cheese on top. Oh, yeah, that's right. He doesn't even put it in the, in the thing. Use American cheese. I wouldn't use a cheddar or a sharp because it's not going to have the same flavor. Just effect. What did Aunt Myrna, like, what mistake happened in her kitchen? I'm willing to, okay, I'm willing to compromise. And I'll say, maybe this is good. Maybe we're all crazy and this is fine. But... I am not willing to accept that Aunt Myrna just said, you know, fuck it. <laughs> Let's add some jello. Oh, what what else do we got? Some fucking yeah, pimentos, sure. This is like this is like depression food. This is like what do we have in our fucking cap cupboard? And just mix it all together. It's like what fucking did she have a an apo did she have a fucking earthquake happening? Did everything just fall off of her shelf into a big bowl and she was just like, you know? I mean, I can't afford to replace it. It's 19 fucking 08. <laughs> so I guess we're just making this. <laughs> now I'm going to chill this overnight. And then we're going to take a look at it in the morning. It's going to be solid. It's going to be cold. It's going to be sweet. It's going to be delicious. So let's, let's ask ourselves a question. Do we think this would be worse in like a gelatin form? Like still, still liquidy when it hasn't set like, like right there? Or do we think it be, would be worse in this this okay, form? Okay, well, I realized I didn't have to wait overnight. and the family Where it's fu fucking rock solid. And it's just, it, it's just like, stuck in the pan. Wh what do you think? Do you think this would be better or worse? 
Like, what? <laughs> it's like it's like it being to asked if you want to drink piss or eat shit, which I guess some people are into both. But you know, you might get lucky there. But uh, <laughs> either way is pretty bad. He wants to try this out, so we've only been chilling this for about four hours. But as you can tell, it's completely <laughs> solid and cold, and it looks beautiful. Look at that. Doesn't that look great? Oh, yeah. Get it closer. Awesome Get it look. closer. All right. So let's uh, let's serve up a little. Is this every food group? Did he put meat in there at some stage along the way? You know what this could really use? One of those little pork and beans porks. <laughs> we need that. Section here. And try it out. And mayonnaise, of course, naturally. And you just cut it almost like a dessert. And just yeah, almost like a dessert with a fucking box of Jello in there. Can you, can you see it? Can you see that? It's beautiful. Oh my god. Place it on a plate. Oh my Come god. On. There we go. It almost has like a pudding effect. It's like it's like a fucking vomit omelet, which is a banger name for a band. That's free. You can you guys can take it. I don't need it. I have I have fucking what was it? Death to uh, chant of the death horror or something. We're gonna give that a try. Look at how beautiful that looks. Mmm. We got my wife tied wow. up in the other so room. Good. She's about to try this. I know it. Of course, I don't know if mine came out as good, so. So how much of this entire thing do you think he's eating himself? Cause because let's be real, nobody else is gonna eat this. So <laughs> how much do you, I mean, I, I I say that, I joke, but if it was in front of me, I could not stop myself from trying it. I, <laughs> like, could you? <laughs> If you had a chance to just try one fucking bite of this, I, I know, I think we all would. Because we gotta know! Here's to delicious tasting. Oh, boy. Oh, we weren't ready as a species mm. for Jack. Jack is an advanced... Jack's like an X-Men. It blows my mind that it's so sweet and dessert-like and has all those vegetables in it. Didn't he have a stroke? So when he says blows his mind, okay, j anyways. And American cheese on top. That's, it that's, is a, really that's a deep joke. I don't need to make <laughs> I can't explain this to you guys. It's sweet and it's crunchy and it's got a custard feel to it's it. It's sweet and crunchy and gelatiny. It is every texture. It is all the textures all at once. Which is a, a, it's a real value if you think about it. Like I said, depression era food. This is wise eating. It might be disgusting, but fucking, it gets everything you need. It's all your nutrients. <laughs> it's your daily supply of Cool Whip and cheese. Two kinds of cheese. And fucking jello. Um, your tongue. It's beautiful. Mm, it's beautiful. Alright, I'm going to chow on this, give some to the family. You guys have a good one, and I'll see you on the next episode. Take care. Okay, that's amazing. Great. Uh, so that was the party cheese salad, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let's let's get to the chat here. See see what's going on. Uh, see what y'all gotta say, folks in the crowd. I need to stop saying y'all. This is a bad habit. Depression era would s would rather starve than eating. Um. Okay, this guy's said Dean Smith. You got, don't don't call people Jews in the chat, please. You can you can be you can be an angry boy at me, but don't don't take it out on the on the fam. Come on, Jack is far past us. No, it's toxic. He's eating the entire thing because he's the king of salmonella. You want to see the king? We haven't got to the pork cooking just yet. <laughs> oh my God, every button. Um. To use the Urban Dictionary definition of beautiful. We should really browse Urban Dictionary. I'm sure that's an original concept and nobody's tried it before. That'd be great. Uh, can someone super chat to ask Deadwing Dork to ban? Uh, yeah, okay, that's fine. Bye, dude. See ya. Uh, that's fine. Remove. That's good. Sorry, Dean. <laughs> uh, we looked. I think we. I think we trolled him a bit. It was the movie Bob stream, and he was in there, and he was causing shit, and we were like, we were like, what? What is this fuck? Is this guy like? <laughs> 
is this guy like an Onision fan? Is this for real? And <laughs> he was being a fucking dirtbag in the chat and just like getting in fights and and I <laughs> I don't know. Uh, we looked at his channel and I don't think he had any videos. <laughs> but <laughs> but anyways, on with the show. Um, on with the show. We got a video here from from Critical. You should probably go watch that after. It's the I think it's the the part the the party. No, it's the Salad Night video. Um, so where are we? We're looking for the chicken in a bag. Garbage stew. Oh my god. I mean, at least he knows. Uh, lazy man's lasagna. Football finger food. Wings, cheese crisps, dip. Bison tacos and burgers. Lazy man's pickles. You know, if you're a real lazy man, you'd probably just go and buy some pickles. I think you're a fake lazy man. I don't know how that would be possible, but... Uh, is this one any good? The the, jo the, the the pork chops? I think I've heard of this one in the past. Well, let me know about that one. Things that scare Jack. Cooking chip fish, apparently. Cooking chicken all the way through. Uh, I'm not finding this fucking... Is this a different... Is this, is this critical covering a different thing? Or is this the same... Is this also <laughs> Jack? Oh boy, um, okay, he made a chili, right? So I'm gonna look for this chicken in a bag, a, b a, b a b bag, McCormick bag and season food product review, is that the one? I guess, I, you know what, we don't know if it's the one, but frankly, Friday's let's try not it. That no, please, oh god. Easy, but Grammarly can help. Hang, you know what, hang on, I, I just need to turn on my fucking... <laughs> Oh god, I just need to turn on my fucking ad block. Hold, hold the fart here. Just a sec. Bring bring up the this bad boy. Oh god. For some reason they have a thing now where your ad block just like goes off when you're in private browsing. Um, so that's great. Everybody everybody's happy about that. Um extension scoop doop doop. Go. Wait, is it ad block or u block? Oh god. I think it's u block. Is this like not on? Oh, oh wow, yeah. Oh wow, thank you. Oh god. Alright. We should be set to go here. There we go. I am a YouTuber endorsing ad block. Here, here I stand. If you turn off ad block, I appreciate it. But frankly, I use it. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not gonna be that guy who's like a. Uh, I, no, I. I d d d no. It's just gonna get in the way. <laughs> oh, that's good. All right. Um, wait, this is finger food. Wait, what? Football finger. I clicked on the right video. Wow, look at that fucking dislike ratio. Holy shit, this must be the one. <laughs> okay, so we got an error here, I think, already. Unless I'm in for... One of these things is an error. I don't know. Oh, 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 hang on, hang on. There you we go. are cooking like fiends. That's right, we're going crazy in the kitchen on the cooking with Jack. I, I guess I should show you since I had that off. Sorry, uh, sorry, stupid. Uh, yeah, he has a thing here where it says football finger food. Uh, and then the, the dislike ratio is very bad. The sal- Holden McGroin with a- with a CIA man avatar. The- the Salmonella has taken over his bane? And now uses this channel as a vessel to spread global food poisoning. Well, with that in mind, let's continue. We are cooking like fiends. That's- Uh, well, that's one word for it. That's right, we're going crazy in the kitchen on the Cooking with Jack show. One red- Hang on. Trying out the, 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 the honey jack for the first time. Apparently it's not even whiskey, it's a liqueur. I don't even like honey, but it smells pretty good. I don't know. Oh wow, that is fucking amazing. Oh shit, I'm an alcoholic. Alright, well, that ship has sailed. Guess what's coming soon. That's right, chili, soups, and stews. So if you got anything special... 
Deadwing Dork does not endorse alcoholism, especially not by minors. Don't don't do drugs either, kids. And stay in school. Do your homework and your taxes. Special, anything unique. Uh, you got a turtle soup recipe? Send it my way. You got a killer award-winning chili? Don't, don't hurt the turtle. I have one already in the in the email box, but send them on over. Oh, do man, it through Facebook. Do it through Twitter. Do it through Google Plus. Oh, that's some good uh, shit. Just send it on like over, and we'll get, try to get it on the show. We'll look at them all. We'll try to pick out what we think is the best. All right, all right. Bag and season original chicken. Now I haven't used a bag and seasoning, a prepackaged thing like this since. I is so I I don't know if this is the chicken in a bag, but if there's a chicken, there's a bag, and the, the, there's a dislike ratio. So. Um, let's just get that was probably going. that big. My mom used to do this thing called shake and bake. That's My right. My mom used to shake me as a baby, which explains a lot. I think they still have it. And you put it in a bag and you shake it up and then you bake it. Well, that's kind of what this is. And somebody asked if I would uh, review it. Okay, shake and bake is a perfectly normal thing. I don't uh, see why that would be an issue for... I'm sure he'll ruin it somehow, but uh, okay. It's from McCormick, who does lots of seasoning. So we're gonna see if it's any good, and I'm gonna put it side by side. So I'm gonna do half a chicken in this, and then another half a chicken in my regular gourmet seasoning that I have. God damn. Uh, the best gourmet seasoning you'll ever taste. And we're gonna see if there's a difference. I'm not looking to say mine's better than this. That's not why we're doing this. I'm just doing a lazy season with mine on chicken in a pan, and then using their bag and seasoning and see if it's moister, if it has a, a good flavor. I'll let you know if this is good. So Once again, we're like not here to knock this, we're here to see if it's good. Oh, look at there's two pouches. Okay, you go. You cut here, mm -hmm. and that's the cooking bag up front. See those two cuts? You cut that, and you cut this for the seasoning. Oh, that's... Alright, so let's open this up piece. carefully. Pretty nice size bag. You can place the chicken in there. Wait, wait, wait. No, I don't think that's how that's supposed to be done. No, if that's like anything like shake and bake, that's not how you do it. You're supposed to like coat the chicken and there's a bag. Is that the bag? Okay, I guess that's what he's doing. Okay, I'm speaking too there. soon. I'm speaking too soon. One I'm speaking piece in there. Too soon here. I'm sure this will be a masterpiece. In between the chicken, do that over. In between the chicken, I'm gonna put some some celery in there. Don't forget your jello and your pimentos. And some carrots. There we go. Nice and tight. And then it says just to poke four little holes. So I'm gonna. What the fuck is, is he doing? Four little holes with the scissors. What? Holes? Wait, is he cooking it in the bag? Yep. Okay, maybe. Th I guess that's how you do it. The bag and the cooking. Okay, that's why it's a bag. Uh, chicken in a bag. All right. Yeah, that's not how you do shake and bake. I guess this is different, but I think it's shake and bake. You're supposed to like coat the chicken first and get it like all over the or, or pork or whatever. And you're supposed to like put your pork in the water a little bit and then put it in the bag with the stuff. And you know what I mean? Like <laughs> he just sprinkled some shit on the chicken and then threw it in a bag with some veggies. I mean, at least there's vegetables, let's be honest. We're gonna do the Could be worse. best gourmet seasoning over taste. Okay. Oh, that's his seasoning? Oh, okay. D doubt. Serious doubt. This is how I normally would do it. That would be it. And then I would just throw that's that good. in and, uh, in the oven. So oh, let good. me get the oven. So this is his version then. So he just throws some seasoning on a chicken. Does he not have like any butter or anything in there? I think the chicken's gonna stick to the bottom. Uh, it started. Uh, okay, if you're just doing the chicken in the bag recipe, 350 degrees for 30 minutes, two and a half pounds of chicken. Okay, don't people usually put like rosemary or something under the skin when you have a chicken that has skin on it? Or is that just, okay. Uh, I don't know what I'm expecting, but you know. I'm gonna cook a little longer because I'm putting them side by side, so it's gonna take longer to cook. Anytime there's meat involved, you want to just let it sit for a few minutes. Uh huh. Let this sit for about five minutes. Okay, and then you put it back in the oven and cook it the rest of the way, right? <laughs> no, 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 no! You don't do chicken that's pink like that. Gosh, no, sir. 
If it's pink like that on the outside, can you fucking imagine the inside, though? Wow. Wow, indeed. Uh, not even the, the vegetables aren't even... They're not even... They don't look any different. They... How long did he put it in for? What temper... Did he turn the oven on? Cut this open. Wow. Okay, I can tell you right now, I haven't even cut it open yet. There's steam coming out. Mm-hmm. The seasoning. Yeah, that's though, what heat does there, Jack. Is definitely smelling good. That does look pretty good. Take a look. I mean, besides the salmonella, the product itself kind of, I, I, kinda, I wouldn't mind making that. That's probably okay. I have to say, this looks more attractive than that. So we will see in a few moments. Uh huh. Okay, so let's cut into the thigh here. Oh yeah, let's, let's get right. Oh, oh yeah. You can see, see the, see the juice gushing right out. Yeah. Put skin back. Oh my god, the skin is pink! Like, like, if I have a chicken, right, and I'm cooking a whole chicken, and I have it in the oven for, like, two hours or whatever, and I take it out, and I cut into the chicken breast, and I see that there's still pink in the chicken breast, like, at the middle, like, a tiny bit, you pop that fucker back in for, like, ten minutes, at least! You turn up the, uh, the, the heat! W w no, Jack, no! How are you still alive?! Show you. Wow. Wow. See how moist that is? That is not cooked, Keep Jack! Running, right? Cut a piece of that right off. Leave that right there. Can somebody, like, like edit this video and just have fucking, have like, you know the, you know in Metal Gear Solid 2 where you, you die and, and Rose is like, Jack! Jack! And then it's like, mission failed. That's what we need. We, we need that. Now let's cut into this. Pull the skin back. Did this one cook at all longer, at least? Okay, it looks a little more... Like... No, it doesn't. Okay, no. That's not cooked. Cut right into this. That is not cooked. That is less cooked! Look how juicy it is. Look at the pool. Oh look my that. god! Yeah, it's... Oh, oh, that boy ain't right! That's great. This did a that great job. That is great! That's great! Quote from Jack Scalfani. That's great. This is a tutorial, ladies and gentlemen. Everybody go watch this. This is how you make chicken. That's a lot of juice. That's a lot it of, like, blood because it's not fucking cooked. Well, right there, so I'm not going to eat that. See how that is? Wait, 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 what? Juice. Didn't cook well right there. So Didn't cook well right there. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, in the in you mean the inside of the chicken didn't cook well. Wow. Uh, wow. I didn't, I, listen, I thought it was going to be a tiny bit of pink. I thought it was going to be like, wow, okay. I'm not eat that. See how that is? That's when you cut in and you test your meat. It shouldn't be red like that. This is okay. It shouldn't be pink like this! Okay to try though, so I'm going to try this. No, it here. really isn't. I want to give you a cooking tip. It's really Can you imagine how like rubbery and disgusting that is? Chicken, oh, uh, chicken is a weird, a weird m meat. Because, like, with beef, you know, you have, like, a steak in your hand, right? And it's, like, solid. And it's, like, you can count on a steak. You can, it can, you can build a house with your steak. It won't last long, but it won't fall down. It'll just get, like, moldy and, and, and shitty. And then people, dogs will eat it. But anyways, with chicken, it's, like, this weird fucking, like, gelatin substance. It's, like, this, it's, like, this fucking, it's, like, a box of meat, meat jello. It's weird. And then you cook it, and it gets, like... It turns into like fiber, fibrous, and and like, and then if you don't cook it all the way, it's gonna be like this disgusting fucking meat jelly, like rubbery. Oh my god! Really simple. If there's a spot of red in your chicken, uh huh. And you cut into it, literally one minute in the microwave. Boof. One minute in the microwave, huh? Okay. Yeah. Boof. Boof. Ah. Bo boof. Pops it right out. Okay. It'll cook it the rest of the way. It won't dry it out. That's a good tip. I will cook it the rest of the way. It'll cook it one minute in the microwave. One minute in the microwave. Yeah, that'll fix this right up. This literal pool of fucking... <sighs> it pops it right out. It'll cook it the rest of the way. It mm -hmm. won't dry it out. That's a good oh, tip. Yeah. I promise you it'll work. You know, maybe, you know, if you don't want your chicken to dry out, Jack, you know, there's a, a good, here's a good tip. Free. Free tip. This isn't even a cooking video, but this is a free tip. Uh, you could add some, like, 
butter under the skin. Like a little bit, a dab, put put some, maybe if you're doing a whole chicken, put some like inside the chicken, like you're, like you're fisting it, you know, put it around the chicken, it'll, it'll be good. Baste the chicken halfway through the cooking, which should take like an hour or two. And how long did he cook it for? Don't panic. Oh my god. It's not a big deal, okay? You don't need to like, not cook it so that it retains some of its juiciness, you just... Uh, All right, uh, so let's try this one first. I'm going to try the McCormick one, which is dripping like crazy. Dripping. Here we go. It's not supposed to be dripping. Mm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Did he key in that text on the whiteboard? Hang on. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Hang on. It looks like... Get that, get that fork. It, it looks like that text was keyed in. That's weird. Why wouldn't you just write on your whiteboard? I mean, yeah, of course, of course it's keyed in. It's a font. I, I, I'm just stupid me. But yeah, what, what the fuck? Okay. Moist. Very good. Very good. All right, I'm gonna try the salt. As for the question, Jack, skin or no skin on my chicken? Uh, I'm gonna go with cook. I'm gonna go with cooked chicken. Real quick. Mm, perfect. Perfect. Yeah, uncooked. Yeah. How long did he put that in the oven? That can't have been more. That 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 can't have been more than like a half an hour or something. At like maybe 350. What the fuck? Let me try the carrot. And the most disgusting thing in the whole video is he eats his chicken with the skin. Wow. Well, I guess he didn't. He peeled it back, but just buy, buy, just buy skinless. What's wrong with you? Perfect. Nice and sweet. Okay, now I'm going to try mine. Mine has a big puddle. It's uh -huh. not dripping. Big puddle. Nice big puddle of fucking disease. A lot of moisture, though, still. A lot of parasites. But I think the McCormick bag held a lot of that moisture in. It's really cool. We really need some jelly juice to heal this guy right up. You know what? I don't even feel bad at this point making fun of him for, like, you want to make stroke jokes? <laughs> stroke jokes. Man, you know what? You cook like this, motherfucker. I, you know, you're, you're playing with your life, man. I, I'm all, all I'm saying is, like, you, you picked this road. The only road you've ever known. I don't know if the stroke was real. It might have been just a joke, a joke comment. I don't know, but, but man, wow. Uh, wow. Mm. This is good. Wow, wow, wow. Alright, yeah, he loves the chicken. Okay, it's great. He's eaten way more of the chicken than he needs to. So that was the chicken bag. Okay. Well, that's that's just that's just fine. Thank you. Thank you, Jack. Uh alright. Uh do we wanna do another video? Let me check the chat here. Uh do we wanna do another video or do we want to uh do we want to uh check out somebody else? Cause I have a list here. I want to get the I want to get the list moving. Uh, I I've heard about a, a, a chili. Was it was it a chili? Let me just check this out. Chili. Chili. Church chili. Is this the one? Hundred dollar chili. Uh, he's got a bunch of chilies. I don't know which chili I'm looking for. He might have gotten better with time too. So we don't want that. Uh, uh, let me bring up the chat here. I'll leave you. I'll leave you guys. I'll leave you guys to the option of if you want to see more Jack or if we want to move on to somebody else. Uh, what do we got? Perfect. I am screeching. He used the knife he used on the chicken. Oh, he used the knife he used to cut the chicken. Oh yeah, you don't do well. I mean, don't. Yeah, don't do that. It's okay. Maybe if it's like a fork that you're using to like pierce the. But even then, you change it up during the process, you know? But, like, if it's, like, half-cooked when you put it in, and then you use the fork later, that's probably okay. But if you're using the knife that you used when the chicken was raw... I mean, let's be fair, it's not any... It's not a whole bunch less raw It when in the finished product, uh, you know? Somebody says he likes the skin. That's mo monstrous. Monstrous. Um... Cook the damn chicken. Thought I was imagining the whiteboard. No. Jack is basically K, but with a ten times larger ego. 
Glad I could help. Rand Wolf, uh, two dollars from Rand Wolf. Glad I could help you in the chat. Chili brisket. Chili brisket. Okay. So br brisk ch t Texas brisket chili. Would that be the one? This is four years ago. Thirteen thousand views. And there's an error. Uh oh. Okay. Well, that one works. What's wrong with that video? Um. Does this one work? Hey guys. Okay, Jack didn't somehow like IP, IP ban me from his channel. <laughs> I got a little worried there. Uh, yeah, I don't know if it's this one, but I don't think. Oh, there, there it is. It's more likes than dislikes, though. I don't know if that's the one, but uh, I don't know if we'll watch another Jack video. We might, we might, we might, but there's other stuff to get to. Cooking with Deadwing Dork, maybe sometime. <laughs> maybe sometime. Reb Lion with t uh, two dollars. Reb Lion fifteen with uh, two dollars. Are you new boot goofing? Yeah, you know I'm just I'm just goofing. New boot goofing. <laughs> Copyright claim from Viacom. Um. <laughs> Boof, you're dead. <laughs> Boof, you're dead. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. We caught up. We caught up a little bit. Let's see. Movie Bob of Salmonella. Church chili. Somebody else, please. Smoky brisket chili or something. Smoky brisket chili. Smoky beef chili? Is that the one? 34,000 views nine years ago. Still pretty good like ratio on that one. Um, got one person asking to see somebody else. Skin's awesome, you're tripping. Aw, uh, mate. No. Second church chili? Is this the one? Oh, this one's a bit more controversial, for sure. No one uses ground beef if they want to win a contest. Oh, he's one of those, is he? Like, I've tried be I've tried chili with, like, steak or whatever, and it's pretty good. It's pretty good, honestly. It might be- I might like it more than ground beef chili, but... There's nothing wrong with ground beef chili if it's done right. My dad used to hate having corn and chili, and I found out that that was good, and I was like, can we just have it? I fucking remember finding this recipe. He he was like crazy about this Joy of Cooking book, and I was like, we got it, and we found this recipe that had, it was a chili recipe that had chocolate in it. It had like dark chocolate, which I think is a pretty common thing, actually. And he was like, no, that's disgusting, we're never trying that. And <laughs> I've never... I've always wanted to try chili with chocolate in it. Um, so, I don't know if Jack has a chocolate chili recipe, but... Um, more Jack. I will vomit from this Jack. Let's move on. Lazy Man's lasagna. I'm seeing a few let's move ons. I, I think we got some more to see here. We might come back to Jack in the future, but, uh, you know, it's been a little over an hour of Jack, so let's... Let's take a look. Who, do, who else do I have here? Okay. Uh, well, firstly, firstly, let me get the the poll going here. Uh, let me just get the the poll. It's a good poll. It's gonna be the best. It's gonna be everything's gonna be great. So here is the poll, and you take you take the poll and you shove it up your ass, and you can tell me. Spamming it the hell the hell out of it in the chat. You can tell me if um, you want to see some more some more K, or if you want to just skip K today, because we've done K a few times in the past, you know, and we might want to just give her a break, you know. We we, we the last time we saw her, her 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 voice was all quiet, and it was like ha ah, people, and it's like I kind of felt bad for her because it's you know it's 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 sad it's sad. Uh, so, it's up to you. If you want to see more K, you've got the option. Somebody in chat is asking who K is. <laughs> oh, no, 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 Sedge. No, no, no. Uh, <laughs> go watch my old video on K. Uh, it's, uh, it's a banger. It's, it's, it's pretty nice. It's very nice. Uh, let me just check the results here. What's going on? 65% with yes. Well, that is... Definitely overwhelming. You guys want to see some uh, some K, do you? We got 71 votes here. 72. If it gets up to 100, when it gets up to 100 votes, I will make my decision. Uh, for now, let's 
Let's just take a look at the chat here. We got Reb Lion at 15 again, 199 with uh, Movie Bob? Question mark. Uh, not today because uh, this is a cooking stream. Does he cook? Is, does he have any cooking? Hang on. Hold the fort. Hold the fucking fort. Mo movie Bob cooking. Does this exist? Oh no, just too many cooks. Uh, no, I'm good. No, uh, this is a cooking stream. Sorry, no, no movie Bob today. But maybe, maybe in the future. We still got to do part two. It's gonna happen. It is going to happen. You can hold me to that. Uh, <laughs> part two is gonna happen. But um, yeah, we might, we might, uh, we might take a look at that in the future. Uh, let's see. Hey, is female Jack with a quarter of the bu budget? Do Chris Chan? <laughs> What is happening? Why can't I stop burping? I don't know. Uh, we're up to 80 votes. We got yes. Yeses on the chat. 63% um, saying yes. DSP cup noodles is pretty good. Well, you know. We got a few people on the list. Here's the here's the poll again if you missed it. Yeah, if you want to see some K, that's, that's up to you. We got, we can, we can, we can check out some K. I think we know where the, where the ball's going though. And we're probably going to be looking into some K. So I'm just going to get that going here. K's cooking. Now people have been asking me about the meatballs. There's a K's cooking, making meat. Yeah, I remember this. Don't watch this guy's video. This is bad. Very bad. Uh, the K's cooking meatballs. Right, so that's is that the one everybody wants? Sixty-four percent. All right, you know what? It's a good. It's it, it's it's a good. We're we're gonna we'll, we'll say yes to K. We're gonna we're gonna give K. She's gonna be up playing today. She's gonna be on the field. We're putting her in. She's ready. Here we go, making meatballs. K K's cooking. Now this is some classic K. We might see some modern day K, but this is from 2016. So just get ready for it people and today I'm back cooking again and oh, today she's such a scam I'm gonna have a try at making meatballs <laughs> they crack it in <laughs> and I just want to also tell you about this now I know it's an ISO but the thing is we, you as you will know as most of you will know and I don't know how you know well you do you know for late but they, we've had we have the we have had the house rewired this was originally okay okay don't worry there, there there's plenty of eyesores to go around in this video uh, because it's that so actually it wasn't a light or a light switch what a light switch it was a switch that switched that child okay. oh oh god no we're we're getting right into it uh here we go you can see I'm <laughs> okay so she's got her meat her nondescript weird meat i don't know it look it doesn't look like beef but i've been too She's got her her egg, I think. Meatballs. She's got her meatballs, ladies and gentlemen. These are meatballs. Oh, you see what these are? Yeah, that's meatballs. See how ball-like they are? Ballular in nature. They're very ballular. Uh, they're very good. Sorry, meatballs. I'm childish. Dripping, oozing, if you will, with egg. Uh, that's great. They don't look just like great. Them. They are meatballs, lady. Like they will be when they are cooked. Yeah. All I'm doing is just getting they're going to roll themselves into a into ball shape when they're when they're cooked. Some mince me. I don't know if you can say leave off top and off the camera. But all I'm doing is I'm getting some mince meat. Okay, that's not how you do the egg thing. That's not how you do it. Okay, that's really not. Uh maybe you know what? Maybe it could be. Maybe somebody makes them that way, but I've never seen that. I think what you're supposed to do is you you, you mix your beef, okay? You mix it in a bowl, you crack an egg into the beef, and you mix it, and then you add other stuff, like, like, breadcrumbs, and fucking, like, fuck off phone, and, like, onions and shit, and parmesan cheese, whatever. You don't... God damn. God damn. Rolling it. I was getting a drink. Rolling it in my hands. Yeah, good idea, <laughs> <Lee>. Shut up, <laughs> You said I walked off, I was getting a drink. <laughs> So what I'm doing is rolling it in my hand. I don't know if you can see me what I'm doing, but and then I'm dipping, there, dipping it in egg. 
I've beaten, I've got, by the way, I've got some eggs and I've beaten them up. Really had a go at go and right beat them up. Not the eggs, come on. I'll beat you up in a minute, Lee. <laughs> and all I'm doing is I'm just getting... Yeah, that's, uh... I'm gonna, I'm gonna say the obvious. I'm gonna say what we're all thinking here. This is not how you do meatballs. This is not how you do meatballs. You're supposed to make them ball shape. You're supposed to actually compress them. Which she kind of is. Like, that's the thing. She kind of is, if you, if you see. Mince me. She is, like, rolling them around a bit, but she's just not doing... She, I, I don't... I don't know how you roll the beef around and it still, like, looks like this. I, I just... Okay. Okay. And, like I said... Dipping him in so, egg, I put that one there. Oh, it's like snot. It's like fucking. It's, uh, and. It looks like brains. You know, it looks like fucking brains. Jesus Christ. Putting them on the tray. I have grease, as you can see, I have grease patchery. It's not normally that mucky, but. <laughs> but as you can see, I've greased it. And I've got, I don't know if you can see, but I've also got some chips cooking. That is a proper chip pan. Not like the ones that you get now with all the little handles and everything. Oh, I'm dropping all my bits and bits me. You know, I posit to you a question. I, I offer you a question to ponder over, chat. Uh, if the British call, call, call fries chips, I, I, I just, I'm, I'm thinking, you know, when she calls onions honey-ons, how can we be sure chips is any, is any less crazy than that? Like, <laughs> I, I don't know, it just, if one thing is wrong, they're all wrong. I'm just saying, they're all, all the, all the stupid British words are just nonsense. I mean, okay. Well, first of all, I'm going to make a tray full. Let's see how they come out. This is so... You can see eggs sliding all over the place. Oh okay, so she's doing the thing with the balls. She's having a gay old time. Right, uh, oh my... Look at all that juice. Oh I'm just gonna... What are you doing? Oh, before you... Do Why is there so much blood in that tray? Oh, is that what ground beef is like in Britain? Like it just comes in a fucking bloody tray? Ground beef is usually dry. I mean, like steak can be bloody and shit, but the roasts maybe. But this is it's a bit overboard. Before for you ground beef. Do any of is that even beef? I don't know. It could be like chicken. What I'm doing? Like we need to wash pork, maybe. You need to wash your mince meat. Sorry, I was just looking wash for paper in the new thing. Oh, that's why it's got fucking blood all over it, because she washed it. She washed it. Who washes? Does that actually... I, I know, we've covered this before. She she's, People in her chat told her to wash her mince meat before she did her fucking spaghetti that she did in the last time we watched her. And I, I, I asked, is this what they say? Is this actually what they do? Say, is this actually what they do in fucking Britain? They they wash their beef? Why? Because of the bacteria or something. What? Like, I know that's going to be the answer. Oh, no. you, you cr It's the same thing with the, the, the washing your rice thing in the fucking hiding in my room video. I said that. I was like, who the fuck washes rice? And half of the comments on that video were, I've never washed rice, what the fuck? And the other half of the comments on that video were, What, you don't wash your rice, you heathen? How are you alive, heathen? Which I guess is basically what I'm doing here with the party cheese salad, but, you know, it's the same thing. There's gonna be a bunch of angry British people who are like, What, what, you don't wash your beef? You don't put your, you don't, oh no, they told her to boil the ground beef, I think. They told her to fucking boil the beef. Dear, good, good God. Good God. Mm -hmm. um, as you can hear it, it's squelching. 
Hmm? Oh well, it doesn't matter. That's another neat ball, and I'm going to put one last one ball on. Listen to that sound. Listen to that ASMR squelching noise. Let's just have that again. Oh, that's juicy. Oh, yeah. She hasn't even dipped it in the egg mixture yet. Why would you do this to yourself? I just don't understand it. Why the fuck would you wash your beef and then force yourself to have to wring out the beef like a towel? What the fuck, Britain? This isn't even a K thing anymore. This is a... Weird Britain thing. I'm just now mad at a country. But it's okay, because they're, like, white, so it's fine. <laughs> Lee! <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to smack you. <laughs> oh, my word, girl. <laughs> so she fucks her son, right? We're, we're pretty we're pretty sure that she fucks her son. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, was your son before? <laughs> yes, I'm sure you were. Right, now that. Let me just... Oh, yeah. Zoom right in. Zoom even closer. Right now. Get down to a microscopic level. That's what we really need. I'm gonna put these in the. We need to see the fucking spore-like single-celled organisms that are happening right now. Oven for ten minutes. Like I said, I don't cook on gas. I cook on electric. But after a while, it might be, might be gas after, after I've had it mended. I think there's going to be a lot of gas present after this is done cooking. Yes, Kay. So now I'm going to open the oven. Yes, pull. That's it. Oh my word. What should the steam? That's because I think Jamie... How did she burn nothing? How did she manage to turn on her oven and have... Let's watch this again. Yes, She pull. opens the door. That's it. Oh my word. What should the steam? Apartment burns down. How? Explain that. Explain that. How did she burn nothing? Nothing in the button, nothing in the oven. Now I think she's actually about to explain it herself. Steam. Steam. I was going to be cleaning it out yesterday like I normally do. Clean it out yesterday like she... Does she clean out her oven every day? I, I don't think I've cleaned out my oven in like three years and this doesn't happen. <laughs> oh my god. And I'm going to put my balls in. Uh, insert your own jokes. Uh, this that that joke is above me. I'm sorry. For ten minutes. Oh! I meant beneath me, but you know what? It's fine. It's it's, it's above me. I am lesser than a joke about balls. Yes, I, I'm fine with that. That was a Freudian slip, and it worked. Um. Well, I just want to tell you something. I don't know if you and can hear me over go. the alarm. Does my head in? So there's a little bit of a preview for what's to come from the DSP videos. Anyways. Time I switch the cooker on, it goes off. Just to tell ya, uh, there might not be some cooking for a couple of days. <gasps> now, is he dying of asphyxiation, or is he just being... I can't tell. Between the smoke from the oven and the beeping, I, I can't tell. Oh, okay, then. <laughs> Between her smiling and his gasping, dying noises, I can't tell. <laughs> Who is this? And the reason being is that my cooker top is cracked. I don't know what happened. I just wiped it down one day and it, it, I just know. Okay, did nobody think to do anything about the beeping? This is like my first couple videos. <laughs> Before we got the fucking batteries changed on my, on my smoke detector. It's like... It's a super crack. So I'm going to phone up about it tomorrow. See what they can do. If they can mend it, they mend it. If they can't, they take it away, and hopefully they'll give me a new cooker to sort it out. Because, like I said before, I'm a nobody thought to, to to like shake a towel at the thing. Did anybody even open a window? On my videos, it is insured, so hopefully oh, it should God. get it seen to. Oh God! You can see. Oh God! Just. Ah, uh, just, you know what? Just, you know, you guys just ruminate on that for a second. I'm just checking the chat. I have to see in live action. Jesus, poop, whoa, oh, oh, Jesus, God, oh, God, ew, my, what? No, no, ah, God, how? Face huggers in a pan, and then we got some Russian, which, okay. 
Um, yeah. Yeah. That's a... That's fine. That is just fine. You know what that is? That is... That is good. That is not even... It's good. Was she cooking cat vomit? Kill it with fire. This looks like melted baby brains. Alright. All the juice has melted into it. Oh yeah, all Which that is something juice. I didn't want to happen. So, what I'm gonna do is... Oh, nearly ended up with... The amazing thing, as you'll see when she digs into this, is that... It's hard to tell where the liquefied beef fat and, like, lard and egg ends and where the actual beef begins. Like, it, it formed kind of like a weird, you know how there's liquid and solid and then there's like solidus in between? No, that wasn't just Metal Gear. That was an actual thing, apparently. It's like an in-between state. That's what this meal is. It is not fully meat. It's not fully solid. It's not fully liquid. It's just something. It's, 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 it's like, it's like, it's like some interdimensional fucking mucus spit forth from the universe, from like a, a wormhole. So what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna drain some of this juice off, put them back in the oven for another 10 minutes. Drain off some uh, of But first I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna turn them over. Oh, this is gonna be fun, oh, trying yeah. to turn them over. As you can see, they've not stayed in the shape I made them. You didn't make them in a shape, Kay. That you didn't make them in a shape. I thought you said they were gonna become more like meatballs when you cook them, Kay. But somehow they re they lost they lost their limited meatballness that already was. And I don't think you can call any of these things a shape. The fucking re rectangle, square, circle, triangle. Those are shapes. These are this is not a shape. But it don't really matter because at the end of the day, this is a fucking Lovecraftian horror. The past is meatballs. Oh yeah, at the end of the day, they're just they're just meatballs. And another meatballs you get in the gravy. Yeah, that's gravy, everybody. Remember, remember while you're watching this that the fat and egg that you're looking at, all that disgusting congealed fucking, yeah, that's gravy. That's an intentional thing. But I'm not doing mine in gravy. Oh no, she's not doing. Okay, so it's not intentional, but she still thinks that's gravy. Just As catching you, can you see, up. See, I'm having a hell of a time trying to turn them over. They're not looking too bad. Not as bad as my last video. Well, at least there's that. I, you know, everything's relative, I guess. In the land of bl of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. In the land of the tongueless, K is king. It was just bad. Ow. Turn over, you cow. Careful, uh, careful, Kay. Ouch. Don't hurt yourself. Right, now they're all turned over. I've decided I'm not going to take that juice out of it because uh, it'll probably melt by the time it gets in. So now I'm going to put them in the oven for another 10 minutes. You don't have to... Yeah, just take off that little fucking flake of egg. I'm in the oven for another ten minutes. There's just egg. There's just like 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 fried egg happening on this meatball. It's like meatballs and fried eggs all in one. All your favorite flavors combined. You know, I made a tuna and egg salad sandwich a little while ago. They have them in Yakuza Six, and I'm a fucking weeb, so I was like, that sounds good. I'm gonna try that, and it was really good. And that's basically what this is, except it's not really good. You don't have to... Just take that out of there. Just pull it out. It's fine. We'll, we'll just forget that even happened, you know? It's like pulling a hair out of your soup. It's, it's, it's okay. You don't have to turn them over, but I just think it gives them more chance to do it all the way through. Oh, okay. You can see they're starting to look... Right, as you can see, they're still not fucking cooked. They're still like... You can see all this yellow, right? This is like in the, in the meatball, too. So this is like this weird fucking meatball egg mixture. It's like a oh wow. I'll, honestly, if it wasn't so disgusting, that might not be the worst idea in the world. Like a, a, an egg, a fried egg meatball thing. I don't know. That could be okay. But the way it's the way it's presented here is uh, it's not the best. Not the best. Meatballs, me, 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 meatballs, me, 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 meatballs. Sorry, I couldn't tell. <laughs> 
What? It's throw. Me, 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 can see they're starting to look a bit like meatball. Me, 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 Sorry, I couldn't tell. <laughs> Just too busy. Meatball, me, 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 Sorry, I couldn't tell. <laughs> Look a bit like meatball. Me, 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 I'm sorry, I just had to repeat that several times. Just, I just, that was necessary. Let's continue. Sorry, I couldn't tell. <laughs> just too busy. Um, now I'm going to turn them over again. As you can see, I haven't, I Pops haven't them. took any juice out. Ju -ju -ju juice, 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 juice. Sorry. So I'm gonna turn them over again. They look, they look, they, <laughs> they do look as though they are doing. I can't tell if that's part of the one. Huh? So I'm just turning them over. Like I said, I've been putting them in for ten minutes. I don't know how long they want. It's been ages since I was at school and did any. That's beautiful. And look at that. They're not sticking that much to the pan. That one, I think. Can you guys identify a ball anywhere? Like, is there a ball shape located on this pan? Because at this point, she's disassembling whatever the fuck these things were and turning them into just flakes of, like, meat egg. Uh, okay. All right. That one's to do with that one. So that has gone heads upwards. There we are, so now they can go back in the oven for another 10 oh, okay. minutes. Okay, they're not cooked through yet, I see. The reason I did that just a few minutes ago with the meatballs is that somebody has made meatballs. me a like page meatballs. on Facebook. It wasn't me and it wasn't my son, it was one of you lot out there. So all I want to say is... you fuckers. Is thank you, it's very entertaining. And the things that you're putting on saying that I did, I, I have done, I have not. Lee, <laughs> pack it in. I don't, don't want to get done. Is she just yelling at her fans again? Whatever, let's see the thing. I can, I like, I'm enjoying watching it. Ah, and they look there quite you go. nice. Quite nice, quite nice. What do you think Lee's going to say, everybody? What do you think the reaction's going to be from the peanut gallery? And I've got my best taste tester to try it. Would you please try this? Mama's little taste testers here. Here comes the choo-choo. This is what I have got on the fork. It's just come out. Yeah, I know. It's going to be hot, though, isn't it? Just take it bit by bit and tell me what you think, please. They should have been. They've been in long enough, and they should be done now. Yes? No? Mm, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm going to rip your head off. Mm. Well, yes, they're done. I don't feel comfortable. I just have to say, I'm staring at this. I really don't feel comfortable with how, first of all, this right here. This looks like a man's naked back thrusting into, okay. Um, I don't feel comfortable with how much this beef still looks like like uncooked ground beef. And I don't mean like it's not cooked through, because it obviously isn't. But I mean, like, it's in the shape of uncooked. It's like the shape that you get it in the in the package. It's like that weird, stringy, unnatural shape that is not supposed to be, that you're supposed to, like, compress into something. Uh, 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 uh. Beef is not supposed to look like Speak that. Speak to me, yes or no? Mm, no. They don't. Mm. Right. What are you doing, Test? I don't always eat my own food. I don't want to eat this, Mom. Look at it. Do you really think I'm going to eat this? I, I I ate your fucking burgers, but like this isn't this is. You know that. No, sure is that. Uh, these chips have just been you in do. my. These chips have all have been in my microwave. That I'm going to put. These are just pure mincemeat. And yet somehow look at the fries, guys. Look at the chips. I'm sorry. Look at the chips, everybody. They're like fine. They're like perfectly fine fucking. French fries. I I don't I don't know. I how does she do it? How does she make okay looking French fries? And they're like proper ones. She showed the the deep fryer before, and she showed them deep frying, and they were like fine. And here they are, and they're fine. What the fuck? How? Fries aren't even that easy to do. They're harder to do than meatballs properly without the potato falling apart. And wow, yes, I know people are fed up, but yes, yes, 
smart dogs can have them. No, they can't. Humans can scarcely have them, Kay. So I'm just going to put three on just for the end product bit. These are the meatballs, you don't need to have chips with them, but this is the end product of how to make meatballs. I hope that showed you how to- Now I gotta say the editing of the K videos is what really makes it, like, extra Kino. You know, you, you can just, when she, when the, when the pause comes and you can feel the anticipation mounting for that next cut, and then you see her beautiful face in, like, mid-fucking motion blur, like- <laughs> She's in a, she's a smear frame, and then she just becomes a, a person, and she's like, hi, ah, people! It's great. It's just great. To go on with meatballs, or roughly going on, or showing you how to start making them. You can make them any way you want. You don't have to have chips for them, but anyway, if you do like what you've yeah. seen... Yes, yeah, so you can make meatballs any way you want. This was an example of how not to do them. There you go. Um, right, so that was a video from her old channel from years ago. Uh, I think we're gonna watch one more video, because I do want to keep this moving along. We, we spend a little extra time with Jack, but I do have some other people I want to get to, and I don't want to keep this going for too long, because I do have a pi I do have a pizza in my future, and, uh, I'm kind of racing to see if I get to the pizza before I vomit, or, like, after, you know, so, we'll see. Uh, this is from ten months ago. Here's here's her current channel. This is what we looked at last time. And what do we got here? What do we got? All right. Well, here's one from today. It's two minutes though. That's how are you gonna make curried chicken in two minutes? Okay. Now maybe we'll watch three videos. Hi people, I'm back cooking. Now as you can see, this was posted to. Wow, I'm doing it now. I'm turning into K. As you can see, the meatballs are done. Uh, as you can see, this was posted today. We did it, fellas. We finally re reached the point where we're just watching K heat up pre-made food. Two thumbs up. I love boiled chicken, K. The leftover water in the pot makes a great beverage to wash down the plain taste of the chicken. Thank you, token white guy. Um, yeah, so two minutes, two, two, less than two and a half minutes. Uh, curry chicken. Hi, right. people. I'm back cooking, and today I'm going to be doing. As I, and I was gonna say, as you can as you can hear, her voice is very different from the last video. Oh Jesus! Did I disconnect? Is the chat f? Are we effing? Because I just heard disconnected. Oh no, he did what? Stream offline. What the hell happened? Are we back now? I think we're back now. The food killed him, you back. I'm not sure what happened. Fix your internet. I am, I, listen, I am plugged in. That should not have happened. Um, let's check the chat here. I should have checked the chat before I did the second video here. Cook it for 10 hours, for God's sake. Looks like fossilized trilobites. Very nice. Very nice. I just got here and that is the first thing I see. You know, I need to start uh, dishing out warnings. We really need trigger warnings on these videos because this is some st this is some shit. Um, the chips are fine, meatballs. Um, just creatures. Are we uh, are we fucked up again? Totally can't hear you and stuff. Barely stayed. Just buffer. Kay's cooking killed his computer. Relax, chat. Don't worry, this is just how chat is anytime a stream goes offline. Not even me, everybody. This is just the way it is. That's just the natural... <laughs> I don't know. Vinny tries to stop it. He's like, please don't say F when I, whenever the stream goes down. Sometimes it happens. And I guess it cuts back a little bit. I, I realize it's going to happen anyway, so yeah, you can F if you wish. Uh, but anyways, so here's the curry chicken. Curried chicken. Now I know you, a lot of you would want me to make the chicken. Uh, the chicken. <laughs> yeah, I'll lay the egg now and make the curry. But the thing is, that after seeing what went into it, half of the stuff that's in it is not not for me. So what I did was I cheated and bought a jar. She cheated and right. bought a jar. Like I told you, I cheated. Uh -huh. I'm gonna. Okay. Well, that's not so bad. That's a lot of that's a lot of sauce though. 
I mean, I use like a curry sauce jar thing too, as as like a part of the the dinner. It's not the only thing you add, but yeah, I mean, that's not the worst thing. Jar. I also wouldn't want to see like a recipe. I really hate it when I'm looking up a recipe for something, and then it's like, yeah, just buy a frozen pizza and and, and make that, you fucker. Like, thanks, thanks for the recipe. Like you're looking up. Oh, hey, I want a new spaghetti sauce recipe. Let me just go on Yumly. Oh, yeah, okay. Buy a jar of sauce. Is that... Oh, okay. Yeah, buy Classico. Oh, that's good. That's nice. You might as well just tell me to buy a fucking microwave dish. Correct. Correct. Looking at that, that's three peppers. <laughs> I am uh. going to get no... Okay, you don't need every drop. Okay, there's like two pounds of fucking curry sauce there. Now, as you can see, the chicken is done. The curry is done as well. Why would you cook the chicken and the curry independently? Um, it was bubbling at one stage, I Oh, I guess this is because it's English and they're weird. I, I know I keep ragging on British people. I like a lot of your stuff. I'm having, I'm just having a laugh. See? British vernacular. But, uh, yeah, I think they do different things with the curry. They have like, they, they kind of have it like a sauce over things. I guess that's sort of, with me, it's like we, we prepare the, the curry with the, you know, the, yeah. Um. And down, but you can still see little bubbles in it. So she literally just heated up a, a jar and, and cooked some chicken off camera and then spooned the, uh, uh, wow. Like no rice. Oh, yeah. Like do people, do, do they eat them that way? Do, do they? British people, do you do that? Really? I know there's like fries with curry. I know that's a thing. Chip shop, like curry fries is like a thing. And that sounds pretty good. I think I tried that once. Uh, but but I, I I don't know. Usually curry, you have it with like a rice or I don't know, like like aloe gobi type thing or, or maybe like a, a, you have it on a naan. Uh, and Lee's coming to do the test there, so Molly does is going to leave a link to the case. I wonder if, if her chicken was more cooked through than Jack's. Her chicken's probably healthier to eat than Jack. I mean, well, no, I was going to make a joke, but it doesn't didn't make sense anyways. Cooking channel. <laughs> Facebook channel. I couldn't think of it where. It's nice. Is that curry right off? Oh. To what for me? Not at all, I'm not sure. I might try a little bit on the sauce. Chicken nice and moist. The skin Good. is nice and crisp. Nice. Though. It's oh, very good. nice. Just want to assume the curry is not that hot. I love that. I mean, I like me some hot curry too, so I can I can agree with that. I can. I don't know. It's like it's like the Happy Meal. It's like when what's his name Joey was reviewing a Happy Meal, and it's like yeah, I mean, it's some chicken and some sauce. I like. It's not exactly like you're breaking any boundaries here, you know? You don't... Uh, I don't know. Uh, thumbs up. I never thumbs up. Thumbs up. There is a real, like, underlying tragedy to all this. Like, this poor lady is, like, probably gonna die in the next few years. Let's be honest. She, the way she cooks, it's not good. You can see how her voice has gone, like, from, from a 10 to, like, a, a 5 over the past couple years. She's, 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 you know, and the last, the one thing she has in her, in her life is this cooking. And she's so bad at it. And more than that, the one thing that she has that brings her any joy is her son, uh, t t trying the cooking. Uh, even though he probably d hates it. I don't know. And then you got the son and it's like he, oh God, it's just a, it's just a fucking, it's like the, the multiverse of tragedy. Uh. But, like you said, Tragedy like, extended oh, universe. Said, like Lee said, it's uh, curry's not hot. Might try a little bit, put a bit of sauce and get me chicken in it. Mm -hmm. uh, right, if you like what you see, please keep viewing me. If you want to give me a big old thumbs up, it much appreciated. And if you want to, leave yeah, that would be great. Except you've got the likes and dislikes turned off, or maybe just nobody's disliked it or liked it yet. I don't know, but yeah. So that's some curry chicken, I guess. Um, that's probably. Probably gonna do it for Kay, I think, because that's, yeah, yeah. A lot of the stuff that she cooks is like, well, okay, ravioli, that could be something. 
that could definitely be something indeed. I, I mentioned this last time. When last time we did this, we looked at her recipe here. Not while well, we. I think we did look at this one, but uh, we looked at uh, fucking what was it? It was the spaghetti, spaghetti bolognese, which I know is not how you people pronounce it, but fuck you. I have Canadian syndrome. It's fine. Uh, and in in this recipe, she managed to somehow fuck up cooking spaghetti, as well as all of the meat. Uh, and she had no sauce. She didn't manage to cook a single th a single part of the dinner that was like correctly done. It was pretty great. Uh, and so that that was that was what we looked at last time. Uh, but but as I noted when we did watch this video, fucking a lot of her videos are like piss take fish finger sandwich, piss take French toast, piss take cheese and Branston. What the fuck is that? But, but then you find these ones that are, like, not piss takes. And it's like, oh, this is her cooking seriously. Oh, okay. Oh, God. This is her trying to be serious. So, uh, yeah. I, I advise you check out... There's going to be actually an edited down video in, in the next week or so in which we take a look at some more uh, from, from the last... The viewer request stream that we did uh, in which we looked at some Jack for the first time, and we looked at uh, fucking Kay, and we looked at some uh, Jilly also, and we just caught up with some old friends, you know? So that's going to be an edited thing that comes out in a few days. But for now, ravioli. Five days ago. Hi, people. Hi, people. Today I'm going to bring ravioli. Right, I've got the mince meat, meat, meat cooking. Add a bit of salt. I'm also going to add some gravy granules. Mix that in. I need a bit more gravy. She's really doing it. She is actually doing it. It's not it. quite done as you can see. This. She is. This is a visual. Wow. This is a visual. I just have to. Wow. What the fuck even is that? Angles. What the fuck? Okay, I just have to ask. So this is boiling your ground beef, huh? This is what it, this is how you do it, huh? This is what it is. Ah, that's so appetizing, Britain. Uh Wow, I'm surprised you don't get invited to more parties. I don't, I don't even know what that means. I'm gonna take a look at the chat. I'm gonna see what you guys have to say about this. B -b -b boiling I spelling I smell the boiling egos of Onision haters. Uh, I think the food is killing her voice. Seasoning for the meat, I guess. I guess. Everything in this video is depressing, even the title. You hear the you hear a lot about bad British food, but if they would all cook like K, they'd all be dead by now. Is she boiling it? Is there more arguments happening in the chat? Who is Benji? Is fucking Dr uh, is Dean? Are you are you Benji? Ben uh, whatever. Be on be on your behavior, dude. Whatever. <laughs> I don't care. Oh, you're another guy. Okay. Not sure. All right. Um. Anyways. I need a bit more boiling there. beef. Listen, if it was boiled steak, I would still. I've never done that, and that's weird. If it was like a boiled roast beef kind of thing, like a tenderloin, okay, weird, and and wrong, and and bad. But no, it's fine. It's fine. You know, that's fine. But but gr loose beef, loose. Ground beef. This is a sin. This is an actual sin. Now, it's not quite done, as you can see. There's still some little pink bits. So I'm going to give it a few more minutes. That gravy granule was not dissolved properly. And I'm going to give it a few more minutes to cook. I normally would give it an hour, but Sorry. I've been told it only takes 20 minutes. Right, 
um, there's uh, no ounce of plain flour in here. There's salt and pepper I'm putting flour. in. Can you see that? Okay, so she's making her pasta from scratch, I guess. Salt and pepper I'm putting in. Okay, making like making like ravioli from scratch is pretty hard, Kay. I don't know. I don't know if you're up for this. That's it. All the salt and pepper in. Give that little mixy round. Mixy round. <laughs> ah, I'm making up new words. I'm gonna crack these two eggs. Somebody in chat just mentioned boiled milk steak, and you're right. That's the only acceptable version of steak, or of, of boiled meat, rather. And steak. That's the only acceptable version. You gotta have your- Don't tell me you don't know what a milk steak is, dude! It's amazing how everything, everything that she could do. I've just never seen somebody crack an egg with a spoon before. Maybe some of you guys have. Maybe it's not the weirdest thing. But just for me personally, everything she does somehow is like weird and different. It's not necessarily always even wrong, but... That's it. Mm. Uh, beat them two up. Fuck them eggs up. I mean, that get much beating from a spoon. Oh man, that's some that's some serious egg beating. Are we sure this shouldn't beating. be on on live leak? They're beating up, and I'm going to add them to the flour. Add a bit at a time. What, what is milk steak, and how do I make it? I mean. The, the answer is right in front of you, my son. I wish to add anyway. Okay, so she's making flour mixture thing. I mean, this is fine. Adds water, yeah. yeah I'm it's sure it's too. fine. I mean, it's not fine, but like, compared to everything else, I'm sure this is uh, somewhat in her wheelhouse, you know. So, Matt pulled him, pulled it out on the table. As you can <laughs> see, it says... Mm-hmm, okay. All right. We are rolling that dough. Oh, why don't we have um, uh... now, This looks a little more, I don't, I don't know, I haven't made pasta in like years uh, from scratch, but this looks a little more like pizza dough than anything. I oh, think there's I a bit of a difference there. I miss, oh, well, what can you say to miss? I am not, I am not surprised, I was gonna say. Surprise me. Oh, today is nothing is going right. <laughs> um, As opposed to all of your other videos that are just perfect. Yes, today nothing is going right. I ain't got a clue what I'm doing with this. Um, hopefully it's going to turn out right as so I'm going to... You see, know. Kay is my favorite YouTube chef, and I'm realizing this because, like, watching Jack's videos, you know, there's a few there's a few recipes that are hilarious, but for the most part, he's fine. Like, yeah, he fucked up the chicken, and that was hilarious. But like, yeah, I mean, probably most of his re recipes are fine. But K, every video is an adventure. Like, <laughs> literally any single one of them could be a gold mine. It's incredible. Go running back to my mother and shout her. Okay. These are the boring parts of the videos where she's just doing some menial thing and decided not to edit to after when the menial thing was was done, and just instead go. It's basically like my streams. More or less. Okay. Yeah. Rolling out that dough. Right, I'm going to pick it up with rolling pin and I'm going to put it on the uh, baking tray. Okay. Wait, shouldn't you make your your ravioli first? Shouldn't you put the? Okay, well let's 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 hang on here. Do you think that be picked up on camera? Um, bless. <laughs> Love that dog. 
Right. Um, oh, it's still a bit dark. It's still a bit wet. Right. Okay, well, as you, as you can see... Right. Um, there's oh. still, like, dough sticking to the counter here. Which is probably not what you're looking for. As I say, haven't made... I haven't made ravioli myself in years, but uh, probably want that not to happen. It's still a bit dark. It's still a bit wet. Mm -hmm. Never mind. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on long ways. Ah, oh, long ways, yes. Oh yeah, you see that? You see this? See, watch very closely where the cursor is pointing. She puts it down on top of the fucking noodles. The, the, the dough. Please don't. And then stretches the fuck out don't of it. go wrong. Which is not... Uh, <sighs> it seems so pointless to even point out now when something is fucked. Because it's like... <laughs> it's like... Like, what, 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 what... She's, she managed to screw up making spaghetti. And she even managed to screw up pronouncing it because she called it sketty. And so did her fucking son. So, like, I, I don't... Um, I don't know why why I think why I think the bar should be higher than it is, but um, yeah. What I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm not going to cook cook it yet. I'm not going to cut it yet. Uh huh. Why? I'll take these eclairs off. They can make another. Don't really need to do that, but okay. Right, so she could really stand to cut down a good amount of this video. Is she is she doing this now? Oh wait, she's compressing it. From right. That. Right on the wait, what? I guess that's one way to do it. She's making a little ravioli thing, but it's like with a strip of. I can do one on each side. Okay. Right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um. I was just looking because I wanted to know if I'd put the eggs in. Uh, yeah, so anyway, I've put the eggs in. Well, obviously I've put the eggs in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that in the oven. I'm going to let it bake for about, I don't know, five, ten minutes, not more. Then bring it out, uh, cut it, and then start putting the little bit of mincemeat in. And then I'm going to start making them and hopefully they turn out right. All right. Right, as you can see, I've done it. it I, I only put it in oven. Here's all that delicious boiled meat. So... Okay, I, I'm guessing she's not putting any. Well, okay, actually, it's, it's, uh, it's probably fine. It's, I was gonna say not putting any sauce in, but then I realized no, this is ravioli. This isn't like calzone, so it's, it's fine. Two or three minutes. So what we're doing now is I'm gonna put the mince meat on this one. Uh, it's not gonna take much mince meat, is it? Never mind. No, you can't. Oh my god, with the fucking juice from the beef, like it's gonna. You don't... Right, okay. And you can see the gravy is already there. Gravy, yes. That's right, that's gravy. Can... That's it, fold that over. Well, that's not how you... I know you're oh, going to say, oh, oh. it's going to come up. I'm going to... I'm going to... Uh, knit the end of it, as it's called. Okay. Oh, not much mincemeat there. Really the but it's not going to. It doesn't take a lot to. As you notice when you get she, your when you do the, when you have ravioli, there's not much mincemeat in it anyway. Is she really using that tiny amount? Though, like, why did she make so much? Why would she leave so much of the thing unfilled? Okay. Yeah, a bit gravy on that one. Stop calling it gravy. Fold that one over. That's not how you... Move that, yes, move it up. That's it, that's it. Um, but I think I, I'll just be able to... Okay, yeah, we're adding the stuff. And this one, last one. I think that's a bit smaller than the others. Never mind. It's just like soaked through, straight through the crust. Fold that over. These are not even, this is not even like, like, Pat, this isn't even like... I don't think she used Durham Semolina, did she? Or flat f Durham flour or whatever it's called. I don't think. I think she just made like pizza crust and is calling it. Uh, 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 uh. So now what I'm gonna do is. Oh shit! 
Pastry. Hey, language. This is YouTube. This is a family-friendly Christian Minecraft server. It's gonna undo that's it. <laughs> what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glaze them with what with what with milk, um, and then hopefully they will be able to stick together. And well, I'm, what I'm gonna do? I'll tell you truth. I'm gonna glaze them, and then I'm gonna. I don't know if you can see that. I'm gonna press them down with that. So if you want me to show you one, I'll show you this one. This one of them up here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna juiced beef. Oh wow, there's a guy in chat whose name is Juiced. I just noticed that. His name is Juiced Beef. And he says, I didn't think Juiced Beef was an actual thing. This is shocking. Wow. I couldn't have made a better joke if I tried. And you have proof of this, because I have a YouTube channel. <laughs> I've never made a single funny joke in my life, but good job, dude. That was the perfect serendipity of, of your name and this horrible video. <laughs> That was beautiful. Um, okay, Benji, yeah, thanks. Uh, stop insulting my chat. Thanks, that's cool. Bye. Just a sec. Taking out the trash. Come on. There you go. No, no, we're gonna freeze. Oh, we're gonna freeze. Okay. Very good. Very good. Well, you win this round, Benji. How have I fr how have I managed to <sighs> There you go. There you go. There you go. All right. He's just going to come back. Well, you know, it's if it, listen, that's his life, you know, <laughs> like if he wants to spend his whole life watching my videos in, like, bitterness and anger. <laughs> like, yeah, 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 you fuck up that line, yeah, ooh, mmm, yeah, I suck juice, mmm, mmm, yeah, I'm gonna call somebody an asshole in the chat, Oh, it's free, yeah, I can get away with it, yeah, mmm. If he wants to do that, <laughs> then, like, <laughs> get your get your jollies where you can, I guess. So this is a ravioli. It's it looks more like a Jamaican beef patty than anything, which not necessarily a bad thing, but I don't think she made it well. <laughs> Something tells me. Cook um, for probably right. another. Okay, uh, so twenty minutes, something like. Is that. she gonna have sauce with it? That's the real question. And as no? you can see, it's turned out well. It's turned into nothing resembling ravioli. Okay, it's. Like, it would have been better if you just named it something else, and just, like, <laughs> just said, Hey, look, it's my meat pastry dinner, and people would have been like, Oh, that's whatever, I guess, that's fine. But when you compare it, when you name it ravioli, people are going to compare it to ravioli. You, you're, you're brought this on yourself, okay? <laughs> I have time for the taste, taste test. And while it goes, it's going to leave a link in the description to my Facebook page. You know, Lee looks a little bit like Rabid Luigi. I wonder if they're brothers. Okay. Now, I know it's not as soft as normal. Do I'm just it? showing him. Oh, no. It is literally a sandwich. Oh, soft. Look at that. <laughs> God almighty, woman. It's crunchy. It is crunchy. You can hear him crunching into soft. it. Soft. <laughs> God almighty, woman. This is what I'm saying, like, okay, if it was something else, I wouldn't be complaining. If it was just something that she made and it was crunchy and he was eating it, it would be like, oh, okay, fine, it's, it's whatever. It's a, probably would be. It's a pastry fucking thing baked with beef. But, like, <laughs> when you call it ravioli and you eat it dry and it's crunchy and there's no sauce and... Ah, 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 oh, you didn't even play a record. I know you're going to taste more space too, because there's not hardly any mince made. It's not. Oh, you can see him going through like the stages of grief while he's eating this. It's great. Look at his face. He's like, he's like cycling through all of the suicide options available in the house. Do I have a noose? Do I have, no. How high is the roof? Can I, no, I think there's a, no. Surrounded by a garden bed, it wouldn't work. Is it? Mm. I'm not condo I'm not suggesting this man should do anything of the na of the sort. I'm just making a joke that eating her food might make somebody 
might make somebody consider their options. That's all I'm saying. I probably cooked it too long from the beginning. It means for his fam. It's fine. See, now, I'm starting to think he really actually doesn't like her food. Like, I know I said before, I think maybe some of it he's probably fine with. But I think in, in some degree he's just humoring her. So it's not as bad. I don't, like I said in the, in the video, I hate the kid. But no, I don't. He's fine. He's fine. He's, I mean, he's a neat. And he, uh, you know, <laughs> he has your supper, pal. But, you know. I'm sure he's probably just humoring her because it's the only thing in her life, which is nice of him, but... But good God, uh... Right, uh, well, I mean, I made it as... Uh, I'm starting to talk uh, like Kay, like, just in passing, I'm like, right, well, I'm turning into... <laughs> I'm turning into Kay, um... Okay, so that was some Kay, you know, that was, that was pretty good. I don't know how much longer I'm going to go. This has been a little over two hours now. I had other stuff I did want to get to. We might have to do a second cooking stream at some point because I do have extra stuff to look at. Uh, but I am going to get to DSP because uh, if you're not all aware, poorly cooking with the king. And uh, you can see here, our boy DSP is an accomplished chef. Some of you might not know who DSP is, and I am glad that I get to get, I, I get to enlighten you into this world. Uh, DSP, or Dark Side Phil, is a YouTube gaming man who uh, has been around since like 2008 or something, and he's a very mad man who gets mad at things and blames the game and masturbated on, str on stream once. That was cool. Uh, only a matter of time until you catch me doing that, so I, I'm not one to talk, but uh, yeah, like uh, D DSP's a character and there's quite a lot of people dedicated to to disliking him. <laughs> but but uh, among his many series, besides the video games and generally being an asshole to everybody uh, and fucking up his life, uh, and literally not even being able to unbox a game in a video titled Lightning Returns Unboxing, while his fire alarm goes off the entire time. Ten minute video or more, called an unboxing, doesn't open the game once, so, uh, yeah, that's, that's the, th the kind of thing DSP does, uh, and he is a noted chef, uh, many, many videos of his, his chefdom, so here, here we go, this is a 4 a.m. sausage. Hello everyone, it's DSP, and uh, Hi, DSP. welcome to episode 2 of, I guess, what we can call Cooking with the King. Um, I am starving. <laughs> it is... He calls himself King of Hate because uh, everybody hates him, and he acts like this is... It's kind of like Onision, it's like half he acts like, yeah, I embrace the hate, but the other half it's like, no, you're just an asshole, and nobody likes you. <laughs> and there's a reason why everybody hates you, uh... Uh, is, yeah. As you can see right over here, I'm uh, as you can see. 4 a.m. Um, I have insomnia right now. I just, I, I fell asleep, and I woke up about an hour ago, and I am ridiculously hungry, and I don't want to eat anything that's going to make me throw up or anything like that, you know? I don't eat any junk food, but uh, I can't fall back asleep. So I'm going to make breakfast, and uh, it makes sense. Make breakfast and maybe sleep for an hour or two. And then get up. So what am I going to make? Um, today I'm going to make scrambled eggs with cheese and seasoning. And I'm also going to make some uh, sausage. Uh, not fresh sausage. Unfortunately, they, I, I, they, well, not unfortunately, but what they had on sale at the supermarket this week, they actually had uh, frozen sausage. And frozen sausage, it's not the best. I mean, let me show you. It's not exactly the best thing ever, but... It's still delicious if you cook it properly. Um, usually I nuke it, but since I'm already going to take the time to make homemade scrambled eggs, I've decided to make it in the pan as well and see if it tastes any better. And I guess this will be a good opportunity for me to judge whether or not it's worth it to make this sausage in the pan. Sorry, I'm a little quiet. I'm dealing with uh, garbage day in the chat. Or uh, if I should just make it in the microwave from now on. Um, so what are your ingredients that you need if you're going to make homemade scrambled eggs? 
Let me show you well, here. I'll just run ask through Kay. It. I think she knows you got, something about eggs. First of all, a bowl. A bowl is one of the most important things. You need to beat the eggs into it. Salt and pepper to season. You need a whisk. Now, you don't necessarily need a whisk, but you could also use a spoon or a fork, depending on how adept you are at doing this. <laughs> I just use a whisk because I... So, so far you might be starting to ask yourself, well, you know, why, why are we covering this, this, this exceptional individual? <laughs> he seems to be fine. He's doing things okay. You know, he's got his Pam. He's got lactate milk. I don't know what that's about, but, uh, you know, he's doing things okay. But, like, what's the, what's the deal? What's, what's going on, bro? Um, I've never seen this video. Maybe this one's fine. I have no idea. It's called 4 a.m. sausage, so, like, you know, <laughs> it's probably not. But, yeah, yeah, maybe this one's fine. But it's, it's DSP, and it's an 18-minute video, and I'm willing to place big money on the fact that DSP can't go 18 minutes without fucking something up. Got it. Um, some Pam, uh, or you don't need Pam, obviously. It's like we talked about last time when we made the bacon, egg, and cheese sandwiches. You can use butter, but I don't have time to melt butter, so I just spray the pan with that milk. I use lactate because I'm actually half lactose intolerant. If I drink real milk or, you know, eat real... He couldn't even commit to being a ha fucking lactose intolerant. What is half lactose intolerant? What, what is that? Like, you, you only... Like, it's half solid when it comes out? <laughs> I don't... Cheese. A lot of the times I end up being very gassy. So, oh, lactate... Gassy. Um, I've got some shredded cheddar here. That'll be the cheese that we're going to put into it. Mm -hmm. uh, jumbo white eggs. doesn't Obviously, if you're doing this, it doesn't have to be jumbo white. It could be any kind of eggs, but as we talked about last time, I do enjoy the jumbo white. Uh, jumbo white. Fitting for DSP video. You need one frying pan for the scrambled eggs. Um, I have another frying pan there for the sausage, which we're going to attempt. Um, a plate to put everything on when it's done, but some foil because for the sausage, and we'll talk about this in detail, but for this sausage, basically what they're requiring you to do is they want you to, for three, we're gonna make three sausage, um, three links. It says to put them in the pan, put three tablespoons of water into the pan, and then cover the pan for about seven minutes. So basically, let it fry in its own juices for about seven minutes, then over uncover it, and then let the water... You know, I just have to say, since somebody made a joke in the chat about Gassy is just being half lactose intolerant. I I remember when I did the K video and I was like, why is I thought the kid was lactose intolerant? Why is he eating beans? And I said, I know it's not lactose, but it's kind of the same thing. And everybody fucking commented and said, you think beans are lactose? Ho ho ho, moron! It's like no, shithead. <laughs> if one thing makes you fucking fart, the other thing's not gonna help. Uh, so I just had to, I just re was reminded of that. Evaporate for two to four minutes until the links turn brown. Um, in my opinion, I think that the water's going to disappear before then, but that's just my guess. Um, so what do I have okay. over here? I also have tin foil to kill it with. Right. I don't well, have some foil. Let's get to some the actual coffee. cooking. Let's <laughs> get poorly cooking here. Over vitamins and minerals, sometimes I don't. Um, <laughs> I think today I have the calcium enriched Florida's natural with no... Like, did, did anybody ever want to know what kind of, like, j juice DSP drinks? Like, <laughs> that's too much information, you know? Like, that's, it's not in, like, a, a, an illicit way, like, oh, I didn't know, need to know the color of your underwear, but it's like, yeah, I don't, I have no interest in the juice that you drink, DSP. No pulp. I, I don't, you don't need to tell me that. I... Okay, so here we go. Let's get this bitch started. Come on, language. So the first thing we're gonna do... Oh yeah, reminder to anybody in chat, uh, uh, friendly reminder, if if you've never heard of DSP before, he at one point got banned from, I think, Blip TV, it was called, uh, because he was he wouldn't stop making Nazi jokes while playing Dead Space. I have no idea why. Like, he was pretending he was a space Nazi or something, and the monsters were Jews. And he was like, Daddy, big nose Jew! And, and he got banned. So just keep that in mind while you're watching this fun, exceptional individual. Before we cook anything, like I said before, you gotta turn on your fan. No, you don't. Actually. Last thing you wanna do is start cooking without turning your, your stovetop fan on. That's um, not true. If you don't have one, I recommend that, obviously, you find a way to aerate your kitchen. 
You don't want your kitchen to... Or don't burn your shit. That's like... <laughs> use a little common sense and you won't have a fucking fire. Go up in smoke, per se. Come on, be cool about fire safety. I guess that's what DSP is doing. I can't, I can't fault them too much for it. And have your alarm go off, your fire alarm. That happened to me the very first time I cooked here and I looked like an asshole. So what am I going to do? Um, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to turn both, both of my frying pans onto medium heat. Which is just the bottom setting. Um, I have an electric stove, by the way. Some people asked that last time. It is electric. It's not gas. Do the sauce. Um, the but they're pretty much the same. Turn them on medium heat. <laughs> Every stove has a medium setting. We're going to go ahead and for the scrambled eggs, we're going to spray the pan with the pan so that the eggs don't stick. Now, in preparation for what we're doing, um, if you read oh, the boy, sausage, serious. I believe the sausage says, place links in an unheated skillet. So I already fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, we're five minutes in. We're nearly six minutes in, but... <laughs> okay, that's an easy mistake. It's fine. You probably wouldn't fuck up your whole, like, menu doing that. That's fine. You can solve this. It's the first time I'm ever cooking this sausage, so unheated skillet. Mm -hmm. We're going to put two to three links in there. By the way, this is pre-cooked as well. It's fully cooked sausage, so it's not like I have raw meat on my hand or anything like that. Maybe we'll do three to four. Somehow DSP has, like, better sense about cooking than fucking cooking with Jack, who's got cooking in his name. So give DSP credit. At least he's not under... Well, you know what? This is just one video. He probably undercooks chicken in another video. Let's actually do we'll do four links. Why not? Again, it's not every day that I cook for myself and I eat like this. So four lengths, and it actually says three tablespoons of water. One. Right, water for the, you know, you gotta make the gravy after all. Okay. You get tweak in here, life. Spill that I'm sorry, I do have to skip around because if I sit here and just watch six, 18 minutes of, of DSP fucking talking, it's it's gonna kill me, so. Shit all over between the, <laughs> between the sink and the stove. Um, all right, what is the next uh, instruction here? It says, uh, cover and heat over medium heat for seven minutes, then. Kill them all, burn the bodies, okay. Next, next. Uncover, let the water evaporate and cook another two to four minutes and the links will brown. So, we gotta cover this. Medium. In seven minutes, we have to remember to remove that and then cook it for another couple minutes till the water's gone. And so he's just following a box, more or less. Those are ready. Mm -hmm. Um, I hate when people think that they're, they're like the chefs and they're like, ah, oh, look at me, I'm gonna make a recipe video, and then it's just fucking. I said this before, I know, but it's, it still pisses me off because I do cook. And I'm so sick of people going, yeah, yeah, here's my video, yeah, pre bought chili in a can. Pre-bought fucking, like, <laughs> frozen sausages. Would, wouldn't be surprised if he had pre-fried eggs. I'm gonna actually do one more thing, which I didn't do. I'm gonna grab my tongs, which I used in my last video to flip the sausage. Now remember as he's using these tongs that he once, uh, during... Whose death was it? Forget. He kept making fucking jokes about Mei Ling's accent in Metal Gear Solid. That's all I have to say. It's just, I heard the word tongs and I thought, oh, is he gonna make a hilarious joke about, about tongs? And then I subverted expectations because I kinda did that instead and it was just as not funny, so. I'm gonna make it golden brown on all sides, so I'll get that ready. So we're done with the tinfoil. Um, alright, so now, the scrambled eggs, what do you do? This is already getting very hot. The scrambled eggs, you can take two to three eggs, and what you're basically going to do is this. You're going to take these eggs, you're going to put them into a ball, you're going to crack them into the ball, and you're going to add a couple ingredients. So you're going to add things like uh, milk, a little bit of milk, salt, pepper, you're going to beat these eggs. And the goal here is to try to get the eggs to look consistent. So make them look consistently yellow, make it look like a yellow goop. And once you do that, and once your pan's hot enough, which it is already, you pour that in here, and then we're basically going to fry it, and I'm going to show you how to fry the eggs properly so that they come out nice and fluffy. Okay. But, so, 
So this is a much less terrible video than I was expecting. I really should have done the, the cup of noodles video. We're gonna skip around here. What, what's it like 10 minutes in? As you see, as I Mixing do this, more this is honestly better than K. Like, I, you know what? Hats off to DSP. On a day where we've sat here and watched a bunch of actual cooks, sort of, on YouTube, somehow DSP is in fact the king. He is, he has, ra he has risen above the crop, like the cream, uh, and, and he's somehow better at cooking than these people with cooking in their name. Very marginally. This is just one video, and I'm sure he's very bad in other videos, but still, this is a better success rate than the other one. More yellow and more yellow, and it's becoming more consistent, that's basically the yolk is merging with the other ingredients. Right. Become more consistent. Um, I hope you watch the whole video before you try to cook this, because obviously you're going to get fucked if you don't, because I'm stupid. Uh, okay, well, I wouldn't mind getting fucked. Who's fucking me? Is it Panda Lee? Because she was pretty hot. So we're going to oh, go no, ahead. Wait, she dumped you. We're going to pour this in. Alright, well, he's um, pouring it in. Which means they're almost done. Now whoa, 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 hang on. Hold on. They're almost done, you say. Very rapidly, they're very fluffy now. Fluffy, huh? Is that what Very they are? different than how they had started. Um, okay. I don't know if I, this is the way that I make eggs. Like, this just looks like egg, like weird egg jelly. Like it's kind of. Which means they're almost done. I now don't know. again, that looks kind of bad to me, but I, just I like know. with maybe it's fine. Eggs over easy, which is what basically what I used to make the bacon, egg, and cheese sandwiches. Kind of like a shitty omelet. I'm, I don't know. This is. Can have different kinds of scrambled eggs. Some people like them super fluffy, which they are right now, and. You say Okay, well, there's that, and then there's... Really good. Some, like, pre-cooked sausages. I don't know, it's like making bacon and eggs. Like, it's it's a tough thing to fuck up, pretty much, you know? Oh, and doesn't he pour his fucking grease straight down the sink? I recommended last time, what you're gonna wanna do, you're gonna wanna immediately get those pans into the sink, uh -huh. and get some water, and get some soap into them. Oh, okay. Well, that's not the worst advice. Like... I'm watching a DSP video and I'm going, yeah, that's actually sensible, that's fine. Yeah, that's okay. I remember, in, I think another video he did, he, he like dumped the fucking fat down the, the drain of the sink, which you don't ever do unless you, you no longer require the use of that sink. Uh, but now he's just like, yeah, put him in the, in the thing with some water and some soap. And it's, yeah, yeah, that's more or less kind of what you do. It's like, c congratulations, DSP. You've somehow done better than these supposed actual chefs. Here's the end product. They're still steaming hot. And it looks edible. Nice, fluffy. It looks very edible. A little bit gooey, which I like. I like them a little bit gooey. Okay, that's not good. I don't, I don't, I'm not into that. Gooey. But, uh, uh, scrambled eggs with cheddar cheese with a little bit of uh, salt and pepper in there. And mm -hmm. some links. Again, you can cook those links. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. It's like, it's, it's fine. Somehow DSP, of all people, has been the best chef so far. Uh, but that could change pretty qu pretty quick. Uh, this one's three hours, good god. Uh, tacos. Oh boy. Tacos with DSP, that's amazing. Um, uh, where's the fucking... DSP, yeah, there you go. DSP noodles. DSP tries it, episode 147. Cup Noodles FF15 Special Edition. Very nice dislike ratio, as always. As always. DSP tries it. What is going on, everyone? DSP here, and welcome to a special edition of DSP tries it. Now, first off, just to say this up front, I've been under the weather recently. My throat has been swollen. Uh, you can hear right now my voice is kind of uh, strained, raspy uh, because of this, okay? So what's the perfect thing you think of when you say, oh man, you have a bad voice or you're under the weather, what do you want? You want soup. Cock. Oh, okay. Right? So, today's DSP Tries It is the perfect opportunity because we're gonna be trying out two different products from Cup Noodles. Now, the reason that this is very pertinent, especially for now, if you are a gamer, you may be playing- What is up, gamers? Playing Final Fantasy XV. And you may not know this if you're not playing it. Cup Noodles has a giant ad space 
purchased in the game. They're on. It's so bad. It's <laughs> Can I go on a 15 rant for a couple minutes? Can I talk about how it was like a 20 year long de development process and somehow it's it's just fine. It's it's okay. Can we talk about how there's fucking ads like in the game? Like, you literally play missions that are, Boy, I, I sure could go for some cup noodles right now, Noct. Let's get some cup noodles, TM. Can we talk about that? Can we talk about fu- Oh, God. I, I, I hate 15 because it's so close to being good. And the only reason it isn't good is because of Square Enix. Because the story is great. It's just that they cut it to fucking shit. It turned it into a movie and a fucking anime and what God knows what else that nobody watched because they just wanted to play the goddamn game. Anyways. <laughs> Billboards? I'm not even kidding you. <clears throat> the characters actually have a freaking side mission yes. where you have to buy cup noodles. Yes, indeed. Then you have to go out and get ingredients through fighting monsters, put those ingredients it's into the so cup noodles, <laughs> and you, you eat it, and it's like, oh... The most delicious of gourmet ingredients. I mean, cup noodles are already good without. The it's like if if EA did that, nobody would. People would be fucking rioting in the streets. But it's it's a Final Fantasy, so it's fine, right? There's no way Square Enix could be as bad as EA, but just Japanese. There's no way that could happen. But with these added ingredients, it's just so good, and it's hilarious because you can buy it, and it looks just like this. I'm not even kidding. In the game. I believe it costs like a thousand gil or whatever, which I guess would be like the equivalent of ten dollars or something. And it looks just like this, this picture, big giant juicy shrimp with delicious ramen and all these fresh uh, vegetables, right? So today we're going to try the two most popular flavors of cup noodles, both the shrimp and the chicken, okay? So I'd like to direct your attention to how this is a 27 minute video in which he's spent now almost two minutes just looking at, at noodles. How long does it take to make a cup of noodles? Because I'm thinking it takes less time than this. In fact, I'm pretty sure I heard of somebody else streaming their reaction to this or something, and they got mad, and they went and made a cup of noodles, like, halfway through, and they came back, and somehow they still had half of the video left. <laughs> In fact, they had more left than when they le when they left to make the noodles. Now it's hilarious because it says chicken flavor. Do you want to know why it says chicken flavor? Because they don't have chicken. Because there's actually no chicken in it. Wow, I'm amazed. I think there's chicken stock, meaning that broth. Right. And finally, the main characters of the game is kissing Cup Noodle's ass, one of his favorite foods. But yeah. It's like in Final Fantasy 15. No, it does not. All right, what about if it's gourmet food, right? Five dollars. It's got to be five dollars each. Wrong. Uh, three. Can anybody tell me if the soap shoes in Sonic Adventure 2 were like a big deal? Were there riots in the street? Because now I'm thinking about product placement in games, right? I'm thinking about a lot of people don't like it when they spend full price on a game and they get fucking ads spammed in their face. I'm wondering if like, because when I was a kid, I thought the soap shoes were amazing and I wanted to buy some and like kill myself and <laughs> fucking. I'm sure a lot of other kids did too, and I'm, I, I don't know if there was like a strong undercurrent of people who were like, This is evil product placement, I paid $60 for this game, and you persuaded my child to go and buy fucked up grind shoes, and now he can't walk. I just... <laughs> I'm sorry, now I'm on a tangent, but... $60. But this video is 27 minutes long, everything to do with this is crazy. Lower. Okay. Jeez, maybe it's a steal. Now he's reading the fat. fat. Calories are pretty decent at around 300 calories. How is he reading the fucking calories, right? That's not too bad. So honestly, a lot of these things are about iron is actually quite high at 15%. What the fuck, dude? It's... <sighs> right? I'm going to make a video one of these days that is just me reading a shampoo bottle. And that's all it's going to be. And somehow it's going to get views... And it's gonna get fucking ad revenue. <laughs> and it'll be fine, because I can point to fucking Joey's World Tour reading the back of a Happy Meal toy, the fine print, and re DSP reading the nutritional information. And I'll be like, yeah, no, I just look up to DSP. He's my idol now. No, I'm just... I'm <laughs> I wonder if the chicken is any better or worse. Chicken is worse. Chicken actually has a higher sodium percentage. 
<clears throat> everything else are, looks pretty much the same. Okay, so there's really not. Uh, oh, by the way, here you go. Somebody made a joke recently. I think it was actually our friend in the chat. Uh, who he said something to the effect of, uh, "Do you ever listen to your nasal voice?" This was on another old video of mine, and I just said, like, yeah, I, I apparently you do too, because you keep watching all my shit. Uh, and and I, I have to say, I think I do have a bit of a nasal voice. You might be right there, you might be right, but can you hear DSP? So, there's really not... 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 That is good. That is like, uh... That's, that's, wow. Uh, oh, by the way, here you go. Powdered chicken and rendered chicken fat. Those are the only ingredients in here that are chicken really chicken. Fat. No actual pieces of chicken are present in the chicken cup noodles, which is kind of funny. <clears throat> so, how do you make cup noodles? Well, the first thing you gotta do is you gotta take the cup out of its cardboard <laughs> container. So go ahead and do that. Oh my God. So he goes, he, he takes the fucking thing out of the, uh, okay, now I've gone back to the start. God damn it. So he takes the fucking thing out of the oh, package. Before we even take a look at the iron is out of Doing this again. Yes. Right. Recommended cooking instructions. Go for it. Uh, reading the cooking instructions. Boil a pot of water? No. I have a Keurig coffee maker, which pumps out boiling hot water within seconds. What? So that's what I'm going to do. Now, I don't want to just do it in here, because I'm afraid that it might not make the exact amount, and therefore might overflow. So what I'm actually going to do... Is I just hate the way he talks. I just hate the way his, like, sentences. What I'm gonna do... I just... I just have to say... I, I, just, I know it's bullying, but man, man, man alive! I'm actually gonna come over here and get a coffee mug. Okay. Let's grab any typical ant, one of these coffee mugs. Okay, In coffee mug. Okay. Who is, like, watching this, though, for real? Like, actually, for, like, cooking tips. For one thing, you don't need a recipe for cup noodles. You don't need a guide. For another thing, nobody likes DSP enough to genuinely sit through 27 and one second... 27 minutes and one second of him fucking opening a cup of new... Let me tell you something. If Vinny was... My, my fucking... <laughs> The guy that I mention every fucking time because I, I stream because I'm a complete ripoff of him. If he did a video that was 27 minutes of him opening a fucking cup of noodles, I don't think I'd watch it. I don't think I'd watch Joel do that. I don't think I'd watch fucking Red Letter Media. Okay, yeah, I'd watch them do it. All right, okay. I'd watch Mike put together a, a <laughs> put together a Millennium Falcon for 20 minutes. So, I, I think, yeah, okay. Uh, Alright, fine. If Red Letter Media does a, a half hour long cup of noodles video, then I'll genuinely watch that. But I don't think anybody watched this all the way through for any reason other than to make fun of DSP. And I don't know what his thought was. Does he actually, did he, did he think pe- Ugh, oh, okay. Self-awareness. No. Alright, got the plastic off. Now, I just want to show you, I'm actually going to peel this back, because you need to peel off the top anyway. Oh yeah, oh yeah, shoutouts to Frederick Noonson. Go watch this video. In fact, in fact, I'm going to post the link in the chat. I'm going to post the link to this video in the chat. You guys watch. You guys, don't, don't, don't watch it now. Don't leave the stream now, but... <laughs> Copy the video. Make sure to watch it later because this video is, is great. If you want to know more about DSP, there you go. Come on. No, not going to be. Okay. Wow. This pop-out chat is a fucking master class. Yeah, just, just check that out if you want to see the video some other time. It's it's a very good video. Everything, everything Frederick Knudsen puts out is great, except that one video about the hurdy-gurdy. I'm sure, I'm sure somebody enjoyed it, but I was left a little bit confused. Oh. Let's see if I can manage to do it in a way that you can actually see what's inside. So again, I'm not gonna sit the whole, through the whole fucking video. It's, we're seven minutes in, he's just now getting the fucking package open. And... About, I'm looking at it now, 2.25 ounces dry. Dry! Once it actually fills up, it's probably about six to eight ounces with the hot water in it. 
Okay. So that's about the size. So, uh -huh. I'm surprised. So I'll open up the other one, the chicken. Okay. Like, he's even edited the video. That's the thing. There's, there's multiple, like, like here. Okay, so. Notable difference. Okay, no, I guess he didn't. Did he edit this video at all? He put some music in it at least. Why wouldn't you cut this down? Like, you don't need full fucking footage of him opening the cup. This is insane. This is. The shrimp is brownish, right? A brownish seasoning to it. And I see a few pieces of carrot or whatever, but I don't see any shrimp. And you know, cup of noodles was not meant to be looked at this closely. The sh chicken one, it's very yellow, okay? And I'll actually give it a whiff. It's fucking chicken, guy. I have to simulate like I'm putting in a thing to make coffee, so I open it, and then I close it. Now, now he's telling us how to operate his fucking coffee maker. So I put a coffee thing in there, okay? Press the button. Uh, coffee. We'll have to see. Okay. Cool snort. Good snort. Let's get that one again. Fill line, or we need a second one, we'll have to see. <laughs> Very nice. Okay. There's our hot water. Looks like there's one or two pieces of... Oh no, it was a bubble. I thought it was a piece of coffee. It's not a bubble in there. Alright, so... I'm gonna attempt to pour this into the cup noodles and not make a mess. See how this goes. It's probably gonna make a mess. It did. It's going... Oh my god. This, this mug sucks. Because it has this rounded lip. It doesn't pour out properly. So that was not even nearly enough water, and now my entire countertop is covered in water. It pours the hot water into the cup noodles or it gets demonetized again. Of course, all my other ones are in the freaking washer. Ignis would even be shouting, get on with it. Yes, get on with it! Right now. Okay. What's he doing this again? Water. Dishes, we put them here to dry. Dry! He can't even say, like, two words without it just fucking, like... Like, the hairs on the back of my neck stand up. Cup number two. And, oh, almost to the fill line, almost. Aha, okay. It is two. That has to be more than the amount. Okay, it's up to the fill line. All right, I can't, I can't argue with that. But that looks like more than the amount of... Water than you want. I, I don't know. The fill line on our first. The fill line. Let's listen to that. I can't be uh, alone okay. in this, right? Listen it to that. It is to the fill line on our line. Like <laughs> first cup noodles. I know he probably can't like help it, and that's like the worst thing to complain about with DSB is his voice because that's just a thing that you've got. But you can at least work on it. I'm Canadian. I have to deal with the aboots. I, I've had to cut that down several, several, whatever that means. I, I did, several, and, and you can too. Whoa, and you saw what happened? The noodles just floated to the top, so. Top. We'll move that to the side to absorb the water. I'll grab the second cup noodles, which is the chicken. Aren't you supposed to keep the thing closed? You're supposed to like, maybe this is different for other, for other cup noodle type concoctions, but I think you're supposed to, like, have the thing, this, this lid part, like, closed. So the steam stays in, and it cooks, you know? Uh, uh, we'll get this one going. Okay, this one The remainder of water, water, pour that right in okay. here. That's fine, that's fine. And get to work on my next cup. Wait, what? What? No, what? No, that's not how you do that! What the fuck? He puts in, like, half the amount of water that's needed. And then he's like, yeah, let me go boil some more water. So there's going to be noodles that are half fucking cooked at the bottom. And then the whole top of the thing. Motherfucker, it's a cup of noodles. We are not even... Oh, we are not even halfway through the video. How does he spend the rest of the video? Oh, my God. Get to work on my next cup. Fuck, well, I dropped my that. headphones. Oh, it's an emergency. I don't get to hear his lovely voice. I'll grab a spoon. 
and I'll begin to stir in the water into the shrimp cup noodles. Boy, it is just one block of noodles. Look at it. It is a block of Why is he using the mug? I just... I agree, chat member. Good, good message. I agree. <laughs> Why not, like, boil a pot of water? Why not put the water in unboiled and put it in the microwave? I think you can do that. I think that works. And maybe it doesn't work. I don't know. But the point is, there's, there's, there's methods. Dry noodle. As you can see, the... The, the broth, and this is dark and brown. A dark brown broth. I've still yet to see a single shrimp. Take that one out of context. The, do the broth in this is dark and brown. That's good. That can be used in many contexts. I see no shrimp in this. Seriously. Less than halfway shrimp. He is fucking spooning through this looking for dried shrimp. At all. Motherfucker. I think we finally found peak ad revenue, like, peak fucking stretching shit out for ad revenue. I thought it was bad with fucking Joey reading, like, the Gogurt package, but this is Look, something else. Look, it's just else. a big mound of noodles. I'm stirring it constantly here, looking. I don't see a single shrimp in this shrimp one. None. I see carrots, I see whatever that green seasoning is. It's a fucking cup of noodles. They don't put fucking high-end ingredients in there. Like, <laughs> like, what were you expecting? Shrimp is pricey. Have you ever bought shrimp? It's like fucking $20 per shrimp. It's insane. Right? I see tons of that. <clears throat> I don't see a single shrimp. I think they, they're full of crap. Even though the advertisement Right on it. With delicious giant juicy shrimp. Not a single shrimp. Yeah, cause it's an advertisement, shithead. Of course it looks better than the actual thing. You're probably gonna be surprised next that there's no behemoth meat in there too, cause well, Final Fantasy XV had it. What the hell? It's bug noodles. Ah. For 39 cents, what do you expect, right? Yeah, so why oh. are you spending 10 minutes complaining? Right, so that's supposed to soak. That's soaking. Here we go. And boom, to the fill. Reminder that he already had, like, some boiling water in there. So the whole bottom of this cup is already cooked. And the top of this cup is like rock solid noodle. So just just picture that, I guess. Still oh, mine, beautiful. Uh, okay. So it looks like it takes about a, a standard cup and a half of typical, uh, you know, a teacup or coffee cup in order to fill one of these cup noodles. <clears throat> yeah, you know what? Uh, you know what, DSP? You know what it takes? It takes up to the fill line. You don't need exact measurements. We don't need 10 minutes of you filling out cups and trying to figure out what the measurement is. We don't need you estimating what the measurement is because you know what? We don't need a measurement. There's a line. There is a line and sir, you have crossed it. So I'm still stirring my shrimp. In a moment, I'll head over to This thing the is chicken. cold by now. There is no shrimp. I, there's not a single one. Look in the mirror, DSP. Take a look at that. I mean, maybe once I start to eat it, maybe then I'll find one. But right now, I mean, where could it possibly be hiding in there, you know? It's probably in your ass. Now, here's the chicken. Let's let's break up these noodles, okay? So, here is an empty block. Yeah, it's a huge fucking block, block of noodles. Of noodles. Um, because the fucking water was... So the chicken one didn't say it had chicken in it. It said it had chicken powder. Okay, so I revoke DSP's medal of not fucking up, like, as hard as, as K or whatever. Because K fucked up spaghetti, but this motherfucker ruined noodles. He ruined cup noodles. I, 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 I don't know. Like, it's like fucking up potato chips. Chicken powder. So basically insanely finely ground chicken. And you gotta wonder... What part of the chicken, right, would they actually chop up into powder and put into a cup noodles? Probably like 
the assholes and elbows, right? The pieces that- Unique joke. Okay, so we're like a little over halfway through. The water has been added to both. What the fuck is the rest of the video? Now for what you've been waiting for. I'm actually gonna taste cup noodles for the first- Oh, I guess that's what we've been waiting for, is it? I, I was waiting for you to somehow fuck up cup noodles and I'm not leaving disappointed. Time since I was a kid. I had these when I was a kid and that was it. I haven't had them since then. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, let me get the chicken out of here while that gets ready. Shrimp, with shrimp, not shrimp flavored, with shrimp, supposed to have shrimp in it. Okay, whatever you say. Let's first of all, just take a taste of the, the liquid itself without noodles. Okay. Okay, it tastes like, not too salty, it actually tastes just like kind of seasoned water. I'm not even kidding you, it tastes like seasoned water. It doesn't taste like sh oh, Sorry. Uh, I should, I'm not sorry, I should have done that to begin with, but uh, sorry that it was abrupt. No, I was just gonna say, this is, uh, this is probably what it's like when I tell somebody that I tried Jack Daniels for the first time, and they're like, aw, oh, little, little baby. You are like a little baby, watch this. Um, because it's like, yeah, it's a cup, it's again, it's, it's a cup of noodles, it's hard to fuck up, it's a pretty, re like, well-known flavor. You know what I mean? It's like describing something incredibly basic, and, and it's, you know, like, nobody cares. Nobody cares. You could be describing fucking water right now. That's not even, you know what, that's, that, that's not even, uh, that's not even a good comparison. Water, you know what, it can vary. You can have hard water and soft water. Lot of possibilities with water. Not with cup noodles! Shrimp at all. Not at all, okay? All right, let me get another sip. Whirl to get the noodles to catch on the fork. See that? So now when I pull up, now I can get a mouthful of noodles versus- He is explaining how to twirl noodles on a fork! Okay, I'm sorry. I think I peaked all of your microphones. Welcome. W uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry for the wake up. Uh, but yeah, to, 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 to recap, he's spending uh, some uh, amount of time in this 27 minute video about noodles, telling you how to put noodles on your fork. Here. Okay. Uh huh. And then I'm gonna have to take this fork. Oh yeah. And kind of twirl to get the noodles to catch on the fork. See that? So I think he was trying to just drink the noodles from the cup before. You pull away from you. Oh no, he was trying I to use a fork. spoon. In fact, you know I what? Guess. I'm gonna get a fork. I don't think I can eat this without a fork. I don't know how I can eat this without a fork. Why would you eat noodles with a spoon? <laughs> okay. All right. All right. We're having a good time. Having a good time. And kind of twirl to get the noodles to catch on the fork. Maybe this is, maybe I'm off base, you know? Maybe DSP's fan base, you know? They really need this information. There's a good chance that nobody ever taught them how to twirl noodles on their fork. There's a good chance DSP's genuine fans still can't feed themselves. There's an even better chance that they never will. See that? So now when I pull up, now I can get a mouthful of noodles versus before with the spoon, they would all just fall off. All right, so I'm <sighs> He says this like it's an innovation, like, okay guys, I've solved your problems forever. None of you ever have to worry about eating noodle soup with a spoon again. I figured it out. Thanks, DSP. Thank you. I'm gonna take a bite of this. Oh boy, can't wait. Get that, D get that DSP ASMR. RGB, LGBT. Hmm. All BBQ. Right. Oh, by the way, now that I have the fork, I can actually go through the noodles a lot better. See oh that? My God. And I can one hundred. This man is a caveman. This is a. This is a fuck. Wow. It's a fucking new innovation for him. It's a new world. It's a whole new fucking. Reality. He put a fork in the noodle. Wow! Oh my god. Oh my god. percent tell you, there is not a single piece of shrimp in this- Shut the fuck up about the shrimp. Okay. 20 minutes in. 
right off the bat. How do you still have this? Okay, I guess he ate the other one. He ate the other one first. Fine. Who? I Wait, no, he didn't. No, he didn't. Look. Well, oh my god. That one's still full. That one is still full. He is somehow 20 minutes in, and he has not even eaten a whole one of the cup of noodles. Holy shit. Right off the bat. Who? I can tell you. The chicken is way more salty than the shrimp. I can taste it. Now it's weird because if remember we looked at the labels, it said shrimp has 44% of your sodium mm -hmm. and chicken has 45%. Uh -huh. I would say bullshit. I don't think that those are correct. Oh at least man, conspiracies being uncovered. DSP tries that. Sorry, that was just that was just a little, you know, that was just like a brief summary of what we've just witnessed. Mmm. Mmm. So, you know, here's the thing. The oh fact that God. this one has corn and the corn is very sweet is an added bonus. Oh my because with God. The okay, you know what? I think I'm done here. I think we're gonna jump ahead a little bit more. I I can't I can't stand this. This is Fucking unbelievable. I give the shrimp cup noodles a 1.5 out of 5. Oh. It's not disgusting. It's palatable. It certainly is anything I would want to eat a giant tub of. In fact, even just eating this one cup of it might be a little bit too much. Um, it's not bad tasting, but it doesn't taste like shrimp. And there's no shrimp in it despite the advertising. If this tasted more like shrimp and had more shrimp in it, I might give it like a 3 or 3.5. Oh right now, the only reason DSP it gets a 1.5, real hard quidic. Sadly, is because quidic. it's cheap. Whatever. It's one of the cheapest forms of food you can get. Okay. The chicken cup noodles. Now, hang on there. Have you seen Aunt Myrna's party cheese salad? I'm gonna give a two out of five. Two out of five, because it's got that extra one percent of sodium. So that's that makes all the difference for DSP. All right. Twenty-seven minutes. He has had two bites of these noodles. You can see. They are still both very full cups. He has had two bites of these noodles. At 27 minutes. I'm not even watching the rest. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. So that was, that was some DSP. That was DSP cooking, I guess. Noodles. He did better with the fucking, like, eggs and, and sausage. He somehow fucked those up less than a cup of noodles. Okay, uh, yeah, I think that's good for today. I think we're gonna do another culinary adventure stream at some point down the road because here on my list we still have Simply Sarah, which that's a whole thing. <laughs> and we got Amberlynn, and she cooks, and then there's also, I think there's more Weber cooks, and then there's like, I, I don't know, there's probably more. There's Sandra Lee, there's, there's more for a future stream, but honestly I'm getting... Somehow I'm still hungry and I want to go and get my pizza, so um, <laughs> I think I'm going to start to wrap this up a little bit. I hope you guys enjoyed the stream, though. I'm going to check the chat here and I'm gonna see what you guys are up to. I better not be getting into any trouble. <laughs> Do Ember next. Oh, good God, no. Uh, it may, it may be in a few days or next week or... So, sometime, uh, I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, we'll we'll do another part two of the culinary stream. It's it's gonna happen. Um, Airsoft fatties cooking vids. You know what? Added to the list. Added to the list. Oh yeah, airsoft fatty cooking. Poorly cooking with airsoft fatty. Uh, I would actually, if you guys have any more suggestions for horrible uh, YouTube chefs. By all means, drop them in the chat. I'll, I'll just put them down now, and I'll, I'll give them a look and decide later. There's this one guy. There's this one guy that I did want to check out. His name is Merrill Howard Kalen. And he does a cooking show here. I was going to watch it, but uh, the man is very uh, developmentally disabled, I would say. And uh, it's kind of funny, but it's like... It's funnier when you're making some fun of somebody who's, like, technically a, a fully functional <laughs> adult and not somebody who's got, a, like, like, an illness that, that you know, inhibits their ability, abilities necessarily. So uh, that would just kind of make me feel like a dick. So I decided not to do that one. But, uh, yeah, there's, I'm sure, more. <laughs> but 
Oh, cheese. More macaroni. I don't like cheese. I don't like macaroni. Uh, <laughs> the Pain Olympics is easier to watch than this. Suicide Street. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Um, I'll take Majima's Kitty Chan over the slurping. That's a, uh, I mean, I would take that every day. Whispered slowly into my ear. DD has noodle rage, definitely. I was getting so mad. <laughs> Deadwing just drink some more whiskey. I've got a, I've got a, I've, I've got a glass coming to me after the stream. Don't worry. I think he discovers fire in the next video. <laughs> I don't know how he did the eggs and sausage better than the fucking cup of noodles. Like, uh, <laughs> now I'm dying. Oh god, Squirtle. Uh, uh. His fan base, where? You know, you're right. Um, I'm also a lobotomized baby. Same. I've never had cup noodles. This makes me never want to have cup noodles. Um. I'm distraught by this. Who the fuck eats ramen with a spoon? <laughs> this is the day that DSP discovered the fork. Um, DSP has gout, you bigot. Oh, you're right. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you're right. I forgot about DSP's gout. I, uh, I fucked up, guys. I've been shitting on a cripple this whole time. But you know what? It's okay, because I'm also a cripple. Fuck you! Okay, so, since you were doing ALR, do Slate and Sisters. <laughs> do, do they cook? Is there- are they a cooking channel? I thought they were just like an eating channel. Sisters... Cooking. Uh, oh yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> okay! Not today, but soon! <laughs> uh, oh god, send help! <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's the hair, mostly. I promise. It's not just because she's a large woman. It's the hair. <laughs> it's the. I. <laughs> okay. Okay. Slade and sisters. <laughs> okay. Thank you for the suggestion. <laughs> Next time on culinary adventures. We've got so much more to go, it's gonna be great! Alright, thank you for coming to the stream, guys. This has been a lot of fun. This has been a fucking nightmare. Isn't Amy the evil sister? Um, yeah, aren't they, like, complete fuckers, these sisters, actually? It's the same thing with Amber Lynn. Like, I remember people giving me shit. Uh, with the, the, the Amber Lynn coverage that I did, uh, in that, that mukbang video. People were like, oh, she, you can't make fun of her just because of her weight. And I'm like, no. You make fun of her because she's a huge piece of shit to everybody. And apparently that's the same with these two. <laughs> I don't know, that's just allegedly. That's based on what I've heard. Uh, let me check the super chats here. See what we got going on. See if I missed anything. Which I probably did, because I am a stupid person. Uh... Two dollars from Travis Blaze. Uh, have a good stream, DD. Gotta go. Uh, see you, Travis. Thanks for the thanks for the, the chat. Uh, Tamara Jaruchik. I think I might have pronounced it right. Two dollars from Tamara Jaruchik. I'm gonna say that that might might have been right. I don't know. Uh, Five dollars from Femibot. Coca Cola salad is also a thing. Humal humanity sucks. Coca Cola salad. <laughs> Good lord. Uh, Winston T. Lawls, two dollars. Ah, uh, yeah, get in there. Yeah, get right in there, nice and deep, yeah. Uh, Yif Lol, two pounds. Watch Double Swee making a hamburger. Uh, Double Swee making a hamburger. Let's see. What do we got? Double Swee. Is this, is this a cooking channel? Or is this just a g general fun times channel? Oh, it's K. Wait, what? Why is K showing up? <laughs> what the fuck? I think it's like the thumbnail thing that YouTube does some- Wait, what? Okay, there you go. Double Swee. Krabby Patty. Wow, six years ago, and then here's one from six days ago. It's quite the, uh... Oh boy. Oh no, I just- I just realized what this channel is. Guys. 
This is a man who's been trying to make it for six years on YouTube, and now he's, like, doing this shit in his thumbnails. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh, my man. Okay. All right. Well, you know, oh, stand-up comedy, too. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. We might have to look into this fella as a whole at some point, but for now, well, let's just add him to this list. Uh, it's, it's du du double, du double swee. Bur burglar. There you go. Uh, and I should probably save this. We'll, we'll do that later. It's fine. Um, super, super chats. Super chats. Uh, super noodles. Two pounds. Review his Aunt Myrna's party cheese salad. I think I might have read that one already. But yeah, yeah, we, we took a look at that. It was pretty fucked up. Um, yeah, I think I'm all caught up there. Slayton's chubby bunny challenge. K is all of cooking YouTube. <laughs> yes. Double Swee is still around, uh, 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 still around, wow. Um, full Swede heads. <laughs> okay, well, um, thanks again, guys, for watching. Oh, fuck, it's 7.01, I couldn't make my exact three hour. <laughs> I'm trying to make the streams at end at an exact time. It's like, <laughs> yeah, three hours exactly. Because I'm punctual like that. They start exactly at 2, or 4, or whatever hour. Time has no meaning for me. I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an alcoholic now. Um, and then they go exactly 3 hours, but I kind of fucked that up. So, uh, 701. It's been about 3 hours, or, or a little more, maybe. Uh, yeah, uh, thanks for sticking around, guys, and see you next time. Uh, probably part 2 later this week? I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, yeah, take care. And... Uh, Chufty, thick, uncut, erect party cheese. Good night. <laughs>